I'm interrupting this program with some more breaking news. That's right. That's right. Return of the Ghetto Legends. We're going out west. January 7th. And guess where the show is? At the LA Forum. Yep, we're right there. I'm throwing up some powder like LeBron. It's going crazy. January 7th. Go to the website and get the tickets. Or, or go to the app. You don't got the app. You don't want to come to this show. But January 7th, we in LA. Shit. <laughs> get the tickets. Me, Chico, DC. Still ain't found me no new opener yet, though. Still ain't found me no new opener. Send me those clips. January 7th, Return of the Ghetto Legends. Merry Christmas. I get what you. I'm gonna make my best right there, DC. It wasn't me. No, that ain't it. Nobody said it before that. Hold on, here you go. Go ahead and drop me off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at the crib. Go ahead and drop me off. Yeah. Like Ricky told Trey and boys in the hood. Hey, go ahead and drop me off. Yo, dog. He pointed his ass off, too. He pointed his ass off. Yo, dog. Go ahead and drop me off. Fuck the bullshit, ain't yeah. here today. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know I said I was with the mission, and I got dressed pre-game, yeah, nigga, I was with it, but somewhere in between, here and there on the highway, I was like, man, I ain't even with it. Uh-uh. Say, go on and drop me off back at the crib. Mm -hmm. I'll give you some gas, nigga. I know where I live. Mm -hmm. I know it's for the bitch, and you gotta make a U-turn, but shit, I guess you'll learn that I ain't the nigga to call on yeah. in the time of need, uh -huh. unless that time is in between. 9 and 3 yeah. Cause once the sun go down Nigga so do I uh -huh. I'm trying to lay a bitch down Not go out my guy uh -huh. So shit Go on and drop me off Back at the crib uh -huh. And hit that Zaxby's on that bitch uh, Trying to get that five finger deal uh -huh. And then I'm gonna blow a blunt for real But you know what Why you ain't got no car <laughs> Shit <laughs> He just told me all that shit And you ain't even driving that far <laughs> And then the end of the stop Nigga wanna go to oh, Zaxby's yeah. He told me, nigga, nine and three. <laughs> but you riding with me. <laughs> what the fuck? But you ain't like you found out today that I always got to ride with you. OK. Sometimes you pull up round two. Uh-huh. And then we'll blow a blunt or four. Uh-huh. And then after that, you'll hit that door. Uh-huh. But then today you pulled up real late. Yep. Swear to God, my nigga, you got there way past eight. Uh-huh. And you was talking about hitting the club, and I was with it. But after that, hitting the tub, I was like, go on ahead and drop me off. Tell you, man, it's that time of the month. I was going to go outside before I hit this blunt. <laughs> And got dressed. I was under some stress. I still went outside to do my best. I put my pants on. I grabbed my shirt. I had already just got off of work. Rolled up a blunt, maybe three, just to see who was going to pull up and fuck with me if I don't go nowhere, because I'm chilling like a sport. I'm going to really just chill in hell, hang out on the porch, and maybe make a sandwich, smoke a blunt, like I told you. Cause I'm a no limit soldier. See, me and my girl broke up cause she was dirty. But uh, more come on around 4.30. Oh, no. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, I keep it true. To, cause earlier this morning I was up watching Judge Judy. Hey. They played an episode or two. Then I flipped a couple channels and I started watching The View. Mm. Just to disagree with some of these hoes. They make some good fucking points, but I already know that they didn't know. What the fuck they talking about? We in the ATL with niggas go crazy and start to walk it out. You know just where I live. I ain't driving to work today, so shit, just drop me by the crib. I woke up real early today to yeah. do my taxes. Yeah. Smoked a blunt, got uh, distracted, and start watching Judge Mathis. Uh -huh. And that nigga said it sound like a crackhead move. There's this one, one dude who was arguing with this one black dude uh -huh. over some little shit. Cause you don't even get but 5000 mm -hmm. when you go to court. Nigga talking all that chatter. Mm -hmm. Talking about he bust the car, scratched that bitch all up, burnt some carpet up, and tore some clothes, and whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. And after that, all he said was that 
that you get 1200 <laughs> Swear to God. And I Real was money. like, that ain't no money. That ain't shit, nigga. And I've been watching all this shit and forgot what I was supposed to have been doing, which was taxes. By the time I remembered, the office was closed, so I'm lacking. So I got to pay any extra dividends and penalties and extra fees. Mm -hmm. Shit, I'm blowing trees. So go on ahead and drop me off. Yeah. Dang. Drop me by the crib. The interest ain't no hold on. It ain't, though. Drop him off. <laughs> yeah. They say two people you gonna pay. I don't want to hear about it. And the IRS. Drop me off. Come on. Matter of fact, you can have my car. You just drop me off. Shit, I can't wait to get that rich. You trying to be rich. <laughs> Boy, I ain't gonna lie, he can have this car, little, little buddy, cause this shit stolen. <laughs> you get caught then, you don't need no one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for real. My name ain't John John, but tonight is the Antoine, for real. You did, okay? Cause you might tell, and I know well, but he better not do that, cause I know where he stay, and you know I know where he lay, but get what? Hold up. <laughs> Man, I back up in the drop me off. Oh, yeah. Hey. But to answer your question, hell no, I ain't trying to be just rich, man. I'm trying to be way, way, way paid rich. I'm trying to be so fucking paid that I make rich look sick. I'm, I'm talking trying to about get so much money that I don't even like niggas. Mm. I'm talking way more money than them white niggas. Mm. Hey, I know that shit sound crazy, but I want some long ass paper like an old white lady. Mm. Hey, man, I tell y'all the truth. Mm. Won't tell no tales. I want my pockets to look like I got a BBL. I'm talking about so many stacks that when I reach off in it, I fuck around and and drop five just for going off in it. Like, I'm gonna tell you something nah, pick that, that a lot of people won't say. I'm trying to have my money like, hey, hey. That too much? Hey. I know some nigga that a rock. Stop. Hey, so much money that it's hard for me to sit. Uh huh. So much money that I might buy a bitch. Hey. Oh. So Ooh. much money that I feel kind of rich. Yeah. So much money that your bitch want to lick. Ooh. Hey, talking about That's real pain. pain. Uh -huh. You smell me. Uh -huh. Talking about way past rich, like wealthy. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about nigga, I don't got to share it. Uh -huh. So much money, I'll pay another nigga to carry it. Oh, yeah. so, so much, much money. money. We ain't talking about G's. I'm talking about so much money, everything we eat. You got cheese on oh, already, even the spaghetti. Mm -hmm. I even might eat it with lettuce Ooh. on the side, make a salad, sleep on a pallet. Mm -hmm. And just say we the best like DJ Khaled. Ooh. I might hit my bitch with a mallet. Uh -huh. And I don't never touch a jet grand. I'm talking Ooh. about so paid hoes call me out of desperation. Uh -huh. And my ex girl say, can we get a separation? Ooh. I'm talking about so much money that I saved my generation. Uh -huh. And we don't ask white folks for no fucking reparations. Ooh. I'm talking about what about so much money? I eat a lot of Danish shit. Mm. Fuck that nigga. I'm talking speaking different languages. Yeah. Yeah. I might say, you fucking peasant. Mm. <laughs> oh, my fucking fucking peasant. Peasant. That's real. So much money, I got a big fucking seal. Oh, okay. So much money, money. like a coffee. So much money, got a motherfucking pet dog. Oh, and his name is Luke. Mm. He listened to Uncle Luke. Yeah. I even hang with Doug Flute. I mean, Flutie. Even my girl got a big, pretty booty. Uh -huh. Lopes, that sounds preposterous. Uh -huh. Nigga, I got a pet. Walt a Russ and a... Uh, I thought you were going to say right now. Look at what? I got some binoculars. Yeah. Since you talking, I'm good at math. I'm going to be like Michael Jackson buying me some llamas in a giraffe. Okay. Come over to my house and ride a nigga roller coaster. Oh, oh you got a roller coaster with all the rides? Yeah. Nigga, I got a llama and he's chilling outside. Hey. Ain't gonna lie. That might as well, but ain't gonna lie. Y'all like me is high as hell. Hey, but I got it. All my, my shit is on the power. Ooh. That mean the sun is paying us for hours. <laughs> hey, guess what? We be taking money showers. Uh -huh. So much money, nigga, you can have hours. Hey. Jessica. <laughs> Didn't buy no tennis, she had breasts with her. Yeah. When she came, but I might change her name. Uh-huh. Cause she liked to pop pills and do cane. Ooh. So you much need, money, you need, you need I couldn't even sit yeah. And that money, it you came off a of crypto. Yeah. The dollars yeah. turn bitches into nymphos. Yeah. Yeah. And you know that we is some rich Negro. Yeah. And them dollars turn haters into king folks. Oh. Niggas act like they see you when they been broke. Oh. Niggas woke up 
with hugs and daps. Niggas are talking about robbing you and busting caps. Niggas talking so much money on my mama's <laughs> So much money, I got an elephant gun. Mm. So much money, man, I'm having some fun. I'm talking about so much money, it's like I own Bitcoin. Ooh. I'm Like the Joker. Okay. Oh. Okay. And you might get your ass kicked. Guns so big, them bitches look Jurassic. Okay. And they be like, how I shoot if it's plastic? Uh -huh. And I be like, bitch, don't ask it. Because if I pull that bitch, it's going to be a casket. Ooh, but and don't grab it. Ooh, boom, pop. Ooh, that's trendy. Ah! I got one more. Yeah. I got a gun so big they don't even sell it at a store. Oh, oh, shit. You gotta know a Mexican nigga named Mo. Uh -huh. He'll meet you at the store and be like, come on, bro. Hey. He got that bitch under a blanket. Ooh. And the whole van stank. <laughs> like somebody farted in it. Yeah. But the paint all scratched up like they had a party. Yeah. I got a gun. When it go off, you can track it far. Uh -huh. That bitch so heavy, my cousin hold the back part. Uh -huh. And then you got to watch out for the recall. Uh -huh. Last time I bust that bitch, I dropped it out. Ooh, it Ooh. fall. It hit a baby Dang. all across the forehead. Shit. And the whole bitch was metal. I'm talking about mole. Mole. And when it fell, it fell off into pieces. Uh -huh. They thought it was a truck. Uh -huh. and we made off recent pieces. Ooh. Ooh. You Man. still got it? Hold up. Hell no, I sell one. Sell. I just bought a real gun. Okay. Oh, I got a real gun, but I ain't no chump. This gun's so big, I'm holding it, but the best in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> I was in this chick house, calling my booty. Uh -huh. My nigga sold me a gun, swear it was on Call of Duty. Ooh. That hoe was so long and pretty paws. But when they do it, these niggas be like, ooh, haw. Throw up their hands, be like, ooh, law. And I be like, doo, ba, ba, ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> That's a long night. Ooh. Yeah. Nigga might have to call in a drone strike. Yeah. I caught that. <laughs> Let me rewind. I bought that. Yeah, y'all buying too many guns because you rush. I got that big shit. It's like I got it in rush. Ooh, I had a motherfucker say. with that little seat on it. Oh. And you can lean back, <laughs> prop up your feet on it. Oh. Think of the biggest back you ever seen. Mm. Big Bigger back. than that. Big back. Bigger Middle than that. Back. Yeah. <laughs> the back so big it's got four Extra middles. <laughs> I'm talking about four. Tic Tac Toe on the back. <laughs> Bigger than the tub they baptized Shaq in. Shaq That's did it. They said he was. Oh. I think they just threw water on yeah, him. Yeah, they said. I think they, they hit him with a spray bottle. bottle one day. They hit that nigga with a spray bottle. They hit that nigga with a suit or something for real. They took that nigga with a spray bottle. Do you take Jesus Christ? Him in there with Shamu and shit. Get in there. They said that nigga to a car wash. Walk on in there, motherfucker. Get your ass off in there. You already know, what you're about that, man. We already talking that shit like we always do, man. I don't even feel like it's a guest in here. We really got some of the family. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Look at the day, got man. Got family, man. You came in. Come on, know that. On the road, came in. Come on, man. And you know that. Yeah. Yeah. Right Should've been came in. I had to pull up on him. You hit him. If you in Dallas. This the motherfucker no, I mean, to see. If you were doing comedy anywhere, man. Here. Because you, you do be there. No. Oh, no. Yeah, no. You got to. I'm going comedy. Come on, man. Man, I thought you was talking about somebody else till you Hell said my no, name. No, no, right nigga. I'm talking about my dog. You know what I mean? You love him. Black Run. Come on, man. You know what? Come on, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, what, what can I say? Or as, as, you, as you are known in France, 
Noir Rano. You know what I'm talking about? As they call me in Spanish, you know, Negro. You don't light up, my boy. Hey, man. Hey, my boy. I had to earn my spot to the trap. Who the hell you think you is? You think you got that more technic, but yeah. He made his man. He be posing on the camera and shit. I see you, my boy. Hey, man. I'm like one of the disciples. Yeah, you hear me? Hey, I can't, I can't go, man. Good news Jesus. around the good brothers. You feel, long, bro. you feel me? Hey, they told me a rising tide lifts all boats. In other words, nigga, y'all created a wave. It was a rising tide, nigga, and all the boats around you either rose or sank. That's and I just happen to be one of them little bitty canoes that rose up when y'all started taking off in that 85 South Show yacht, nigga. So shit, I had to earn my place to the trap, nigga. Bro, this is the 85 South Show. It is. You ain't that big. You ain't that big, black bro. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this is a show for real niggas. Yeah, Come on, man. And it ain't a whole lot of those left. <sighs> Facts. I mean, we really been struggling since they took the Jeffersons off. Mm. Just to go ahead and keep it all the way up. Less is more. You think it's in the good time? I mean, they killed James. That was after. He was the last televised real nigga. Good time was the real nigga. Really, that nigga came in the house mad every night. You be bad too. You gotta come home to Florida every day. God damn, damn, damn don't, don't do that, bro. Florida, Florida. 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 don't do that. See, see, don't do that. See, you gotta realize, God is fire, my nigga. I didn't, it ain't got nothing to do with her looks. I was saying that Florida, she get on a nigga nerve. Every time Jack walk in the house. <laughs> 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 She always got know where the money came yeah, from. Jay! Florida, you got the punk ass. I ain't gonna see it. They could have got out the hood 22 <laughs> times, but Florida ass. Uh, with her morals and her principles, bro. Sweet daddy could have got them out the hood. JJ could have got them out the hood six different times by yeah, himself. Bro, when JJ painted the picture of Black bro. Jesus, they was, <laughs> they was out the hood. She wouldn't even have my pussy got them out the hood three separate times. And, and Florida was bad. She said it, because I didn't want to do it. Oh, Emma had that young pussy out in them. Y'all not about to do it. Don't do that. Hey, hold on. Don't I got this theory, and it fucked people up. That Thelma told me. No, no, no. That nigga want to pay for that pussy. Who? Tell me, tell me, tell me. You talking about the African nigga? Yeah, remember that nigga? You been getting married? Oh, yeah. Tell me, tell me. The football nigga. The other African nigga. You talking about Keith. He fucked his knee up. She was bad. He fucked his knee up. She was bad. But I think his knee was already fucked off. Because tripping over JJ shouldn't have told your whole ACL like that. You a whole oh, ass liar. You ain't been, you been skipping leg day. Dig this. If JJ, if JJ if fucked JJ up, you gonna play the NFL? I'm church calling. You been skipping they leg day, nigga. <laughs> so the so bedroom in the door right there. Two bedroom. This, this, had this is room. the late 70s. Yeah. A lot of them NFL players had regular jobs throughout the week. Worked at the steel mill. Yeah. Right. Shit. Nigga he didn't do none of that. He was just light skinned. But this is going to fuck y'all look. This is going to fuck y'all up. I present, I like to offer this thought up. I think Thelma was really Walona's daughter. And here's why. Why, nigga? I, I know think... where she was Florida, though. That's a great thing. <laughs> Dig this. <clears throat> Thelma was very theatrical. She could perform and shit. She always had a love for the arts and the flair. Walona could sing and shit and always used to talk about back when she was a singer and shit. I think Walona was a singer, singing background and shit, dancing, performing, fucked around and got pregnant. Couldn't take care of her baby. Her best friend, who she grew up with, Florida, said, hey, me and my husband James just had a baby. We'll take your baby in. Ain't no black person in America who just had a baby finna take somebody else's baby. Let me no, tell you why. Exactly Let me tell straight. you why. No, that's, exactly, exactly, that's exactly what black folks no, do. Not no, 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 no. They not finna take a new baby, and this bitch live across the hall. No, she didn't live across the hall. You don't go to your mama house. She didn't live across the hall. She was on the road. She was touring and shit. She was singing with James Brown and that shit. When she got old and got fired for being old, aged out, she came home to Chicago. Could bring out her apartment right across the hallway so that she could be close to her baby, who she then had to raise from afar as Auntie Thelma. Dig this. I don't want to always walked in the crib, never knocked. Who you know do that? You know back then, you know the locks were kind of cheap. Family, nigga. Who you know just bust the door, man? In me, let me throw the mulligan in there. All them niggas. They never said that Walona was not Florida's sister. Or James' sister. Mm hmm They never said well, that. Well, on, I mean, uh, they never said that part, but... Well, who but the fuck Jenny. was Penny? So Walona was Penny. Penny. Who the fuck was Penny? Penny, she get Penny was a little girl 
girl who lived upstairs. And was getting abused. And was by getting mama. abused. And when Lona said she lost her original daughter, Thelma, always wanted to be a mama. So she started mothering with a penny. Well, she could have been came saying. over there. Dig yes. this. Dig this. Dig this. Dig this. Dig this. When Florida married Carl, the atheist nigga, and retired down south, they never said where, they what? just moved the fuck away. Who raised Michael and Thelma? Wait a minute, she married an atheist? Well, Lona did. Yeah. She married an atheist? Yeah. She married an atheist, nigga. Oh. Super saved ass Florida married Carl, the atheist, who ran the electronic shop that, that Michael started working at. This when they ain't had no pants no more. This was when these niggas was a little too old to be. I don't know, man. This, this once Michael started episode. growing the mustache, this was, he yeah, was real okay. flamboyant. You couldn't tell him shit. <laughs> His pants was tight. <laughs> He was singing his ass off in that basement. Yeah. <laughs> when you're young. <laughs> hey, Bernie Mac did that joke one time, bro. He was singing his ass off in that basement, man. Who <laughs> 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 that fun race? Y'all don't, don't respect none of the ghetto legends. Fuck <laughs> Bookman. That nigga was a user. Somebody should have put Penny Mama ass to him. And then if he or she would have got her ass. She would have got her ass right after that fur burn. <laughs> Come here, bitch. She burnt that bitch with an iron. Ain't nobody never did that in the hood. No, mama. Like, not no, no mama. Iron. Well, you can actually see the burn. No. Now, you done seen nigga get whooped, stench cold and shit. You be like, let me see the scar. You like, damn, I'm seeing you burn. You shit, see the scar. Got the stench cold scar on my back today. Oh, stench cold for real. And you better not say nothing. Yeah, that hoe like 22, 23 years old. I always want to call the police on my people who got hit with stitching cut. I be like, bro, I do it, bro. Shit. Yeah. Shoot these my mama yeah. told me I'll call the police. They got to get here. Ooh. Yeah, the police. The police. You told the police? No, nah, cause we can't. I went to a good school, so I came home like, Mama, they said you can't beat on me. I can call this no, number. She was like, I don't know. I remember my partner. Like, she she well, called out the number before Ooh. I could get it out. She was like, Yeah, you can call them whenever you get ready, but they gotta get here. Well, yeah. I remember my partner. Oh, your mama said like, you gotta get to the phone. Eight. He came. He no, came she never threatened waiting. me to get to make it to the phone. She was like, in the meet, while they on their way here, I'm gonna be dog walking your ass. I'm gonna stomp a mud hole in you. <laughs> now my mama's favorite shit to say, I'll stomp a mud hole in you. And I was like, what the fuck is a mud hole? And Damn. I don't find out. It means you shit on yourself. Yeah. Yeah, y'all gonna hit me. You gonna do this on yourself? Y'all will abuse this child. <laughs> well, not me. The statute of limitations. The statute of limitations and passed up on. Yeah, that's crazy. I remember when I was eight years old, my father came to school, buddy. Well, boy. You yeah, got whoop, what? like beat up. Was, what, what? You ever got a good ass whoop? Yeah, oh, me? Yeah. yeah, I done got a good ass whoop. I, I ain't get no stitch cord now, but I done got a good ass whoop. Time. Time. I, 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 it was, was like right below stitch cord. Yeah, like, like, that was an ass whoop, stitch cord. Your mama beat you like, like you was a nigga she ain't know? I wonder if we was even related, like blood related. It made me question my whole genealogy. Huh, I can't be related to these motherfuckers. You got, she, That's she, how she bad? Fit, she fit for you, bro. I don't even, it was so bad, I just remember what waking she up. She would be with. He just, I just remember waking I don't up. I remember getting in the bed or nothing. That was the yeah. best sleep. You got your ass I'm with. I'm the most ass whooping sleep. Oh. See, my right. mom got old, so she'd forget she had to whoop my ass. I'd be like, yes! You might get an ass whooping combination. That shit, you didn't even know she had a combo for you. But she remember she had to whoop my ass. Da, da, da. And I, like, oh. I might get an ass whooping two weeks later for the shit I did two weeks ago. And she remember, like, man, she plus like, I owe you an hey, ass whooping. I'd be like, what you talking about? Man, what? Ass whooping for two weeks ago. Because your ass was whooping was so bad what? one time, yeah, I was yeah, like, you see that shit in her head. She's like, who broke this? I'm like, I did that shit two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> She remembered today? Oh, you got your last ass with me. Lose. <laughs> that is crazy. 12 or 13. How old were you got your last ass with me? Last? Last ass with me. The for real? All I know was my tooth got knocked out, so. Well, okay. Now, now I ain't gonna say ass with like just a belt. When, like, when the last time your parents you put their hands on you, how? But you gotta keep it mad. I knocked, I knocked my own tooth out. You started getting punched on that. I knocked, knocked, knocked my own shit out trying to get away from the whoop. 12 or 13. I was high step. I had probably yeah. had about two, three thousand ass whoopers. Right. I grew up deep in the ass whooping community. Man, yeah, me too. Yeah, I was one of them kids get ass whooped and finish doing what I was doing to get ass whooped. I was very determined. Yeah, I got I got two whoopers in the same day for two about different 12. things one time. About 12. Yeah. No, I'm no, the for real one. I thought I want to say when I was in the second grade when I got my first time getting suspended. Yeah, when you got that ass beat. Yeah. Suspended? I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna give you a naked ass whooping. Ooh! Naked, like. I never got one of them slaves. Naked, like, I never got one of them slaves whooping. What? 
Nigga lean, left, right, left, right. Wah, wah. My mama and my mama and dad would leave that you keep your jaws on. Me me when I'm naked. But my mama would say, I, I, my, get out my clothes. Georgia. My clothes ain't dead shit. I ain't finna whoop my clothes. What? Get out my goddamn clothes. <laughs> you got hitting me? <laughs> I'm not about to laugh at child abuse. Hell no, nah, boy. You might have a permanent disfigurement. Oh, nah, we straight in there. But I'm just saying, it happened. That lady crazy. And they wonder why I'm crazy. I'm yeah, yeah. Shy. You got a butt naked ass whooping like that. Boy, I had a butt naked. I ran up and down the house. My mama was old. She be like, boy, <laughs> you gonna get tired. I'm gonna wait right here. And I was just getting tired. You got her. Ain't no way to get out. I with damn near walked to her to get the ass whooping. Come on. Man, that's some that's some <laughs> bad shit. Hit me. <laughs> I ain't never soaking wet and sweaty. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I can't say that. That be the worst, that be the worst part after that ass whooping. When you can't control the cry. Yeah. I can't say I hit a butt nigga that shit. I can't even cry. I'm just saying. I can't I say I hit a butt nigga that shit. I ran around my house. I ain't gonna sleep in. I was like, yeah. This podcast is for every nigga that's never had a butt nigga that ass whooping. Y'all ain't never had a butt nigga that ass whooping. Hell no. So you done got and you done got stumped the mud out of you. And you and done got, got butt naked ass And you lost your tooth. We all fucked up in the head. Damn, Jay Wynn. You don't got the volume whooped out your ass. You got the volume whooped out your ass. You got the butt naked ass whooped out your ass. Black eye. I had my drawers. Ah! He's talking about how I had my drawers on. He lied. He lied. He lied. No, he didn't. Three niggas laughed because he didn't win. Yeah. Yeah, Frank got the whooping friend because he's the oldest. I'm butt-naked-ass whooping. Hey, butt-naked-ass whooping. Oh, what kind of freaky ass shit is this? Yeah, they were giving out butt-naked-ass whooping. Take the clothes off. What the hell? Nah, I'm talking to you. Knock your head down. You say pop, knock it down like a grown man. Hey, and you got to take you it. Mean, I didn't grow up in no house full of naked ass people. I can't say that. <laughs> that shit brought to me. I did, I did not. Because some people did. Hey, but today, it. man, I did not grow up in no house full of naked ass people. Oh. We ain't seen right none of us in nigga. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I ain't seen nobody in my life. Nigga. So that means you didn't got your ass whooped in the tub before. Oh, no, I ain't never got whooped in the tub. When, when I got whooped that time, I knew to be sneaky. Mm. Anybody got whooped out they sleep? Yeah. Yeah, my mama whooped me woke one time. See, that could cause a, a seizure. Like, you don't even know you getting your ass whooped for the first five, six strokes. Like, but ain't no telling what a butt naked ass whooping to cause. Fuck around and cause a kink. Right. Now he freaky. That's the only way he can get hard. No, I can only fuck with a belt on. <laughs> Hey, baby, baby, with a like, oh, oh. Don't worry about the trip time. Hey, man. Just <laughs> choke. Just choke my ass a little bit. Just <laughs> hit me two times. Tell me, take that trash. <laughs> Tell me, you better not get suspended no more. We all right? So we all can agree that butt naked ass whoopers is weird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Hell no. Definitely. Yeah. I'm not so mad. I can't wait for you to put no drawers on. Hell no. <laughs> I got to hang you right now. Oh, you got your ass knocked out. Your mama stuck the mud hole in your hey, ass. And you got your tooth knocked out. Hey. Y'all ain't finna sit here and act like nigga ass whooping at the bottom of all that. I can't, I can't claim being knocked out. My mama ain't never knocked me out. I just I tell you that. Until she told me you gonna get this ass whooping woke. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but you, you was conscious it. for your whole butt nigga ass whooping. Fuck it right. My mama ain't never stopped her foot on me either. No, she said I will stomp a mud hole in you. I never, That's I never found speech. out. Yeah, I never, I never got to that point. Don't try to defend these butt niggas. Yeah, you trying to play? That what? It's you here to be right. And you lost some tools. Yeah, yeah. That, you shit, what, that shit what made us who we are. Fucking right. We wouldn't be where we was at if That's we ain't had no ass whooping. Hey, but my mama. But are you you whooping? You whooping now? She come from the trenches. Are you whooping your kids now? You whooping your kids? Oh, yeah. Don't, don't answer that don't question. I do. Don't like, answer that. It's three okay. strikes. I don't give a fuck. Can't nobody that make me do shit. Fuck that. Don't whoop your kids. Ass hey, man. I'm that shit. Well, kid. We don't. We have other means of discipline. Now. Man, I don't yell at my children. I don't know who do that. Man, I whooped I whoop my daughter so much back Stop. then. Back when she was a house. little, like. I'm sorry. But my child is gonna beat me. It's not gonna so. sound right, however you say it. To where now I don't even Ooh, have to. Know okay, who, who judge? Like, I ain't gave up whooping since she was like six years old. Like, now I can just be like, hey man, don't make me whoop your ass. And she, mm -hmm. okay then. You can put on your threads in there. A thread is E, goddamn up. 
Who writing your child? You would have been. I'm not now. I ain't writing nothing in my household. They ain't paying my bills. Yeah, they definitely paying me with you don't have to say everything. I don't say nothing. Man, life whoop your ass. <laughs> you don't send me. Well, I'm letting you know that life child. whoop your ass. You don't everything pay your bills, don't guess what? Life gonna whoop your ass. I don't say it. You don't pay the law, guess what? They got somebody that's tasked I'm to whoop ass. I'm gonna whoop my son with words. They heard me fuck out shit. You heard me. Nigga, get married and then break up. Who get that, married? That judge yeah. finna whoop your ass in that courtroom. Y'all know about to steal out my Oh, yeah. Ass. What is that? Mm -hmm. What you looking for? He looking for a lighter that don't exist. You right. I'm high a little bit. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Thumb in the blood. Here we go. This episode is sponsored in part by Ass Whoopers and that blue hair grease. Hey, damn, somebody over there rolling monkey fingers. Yeah, man. We trying to live good. Man, I want one of them. I bet you do. <laughs> Black Run, talk to me. Tell them where you from, man. How you get started fucking with this, this comedy pimping and shit? Like? Man, I'm from Dallas, Texas, the Oak Cliff part. Ooh, mm. Oak Cliff. Oh, D I S D Texas. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, man, yeah, I'm one of them. I'm one of them cats that's really from Dallas. Like, not not the outskirts, not the suburbs. We didn't relocate. No, nigga, I was born in Dallas County. I was lived, we lived in Dallas County my entire formative Mo years. Mo3 was on Yeah, well, Mo3 came up in McKinney, but came down to Dallas, and that's where he got all of his, you know what I'm saying, thugging and bugging in, you know what I'm saying, North Dallas boy. Hey, it's Clayton English. And are you tired of not knowing what to cook when you're stressed for time? HelloFresh can make ease the stress and make it simple for you. HelloFresh offers 10 to 20 minute meals, low prep recipes, and quick breakfasts and lunches, perfect for your busy schedule. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need with customizable orders every week. You get fresh pre-measured ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. You can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. With 25 plus recipes to choose from each week, there's something for everyone to enjoy. I had the white cheddar Wonder Burgers and it was amazing. On top of that, I made it myself. All recipes are designed and tested by professional chefs and nutritional experts to ensure deliciousness and simplicity. So go to HelloFresh.com slash 85South14 and use code 85South14 for 14 free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash 85South14. Recipes Mo 3, uh, Recipes Roy Lee, yeah, yeah. Recipes, uh, my brother Seller Money Johnson, you know what I'm saying? That was my partner, but blood could not have made us any closer, you right. know what I'm saying? That was one of my best friends, like that was my brother. Um, but yeah, man, came up in Dallas, started doing comedy in Dallas. I never thought I was gonna do comedy for a living, never thought I was gonna tell jokes for a living, ever. Who was gonna do? Nigga, real talk, we good. I thought I was gonna continue to, to, to sell drugs on the side while, while selling counterfeit purses at this corporate job, call center job I was working while also sometimes cooking at nightclubs and shit because before doing comedy, I was a chef for five years and shit, oh, okay. so. Oh, that nigga sound like that. Yeah, part on blue? Yeah, like I went to school for it. So you like a chef all on blue? Like I can get down. Mm, okay. Everybody, anybody house I never stayed in in comedy, Ask and they'll tell Black Run to cook his ass off. Like, I feel like if, if you're gonna let me stay at your house and you got groceries, at least I'll let me cook. cook. You got Do you let think me black cook. people are the only people that add his ass off to make shit better? Or the shit out of it. If you do the shit out of something, you, you, you did it to death. Yeah, yeah. But the only time you can't use that is when you when you eating booty. Right, man. No, I ain't the shit out of that booty. Literally. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> what? No, not eight of that. No, no, literally. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what you need. You don't know how to eat boot. Yeah, no. If you know how to eat it right, you ate the shit out of that boot. No, no. You wanna play, you don't even give it that many licks, my boy. You tripping. He in there all night. He, he tripping. You go down there three times and say, hey, I seen you. No, if you say, I, well, then you didn't. let him know. Well, well. Well, then you didn't, 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 didn't do the shit out of it. He down there all night. Okay, so if a, chick, like if, a, right if, a chick, if a chick grab your meat <laughs> and, and hit you with three sucks, can she say she sucked the shit out of that dick? It, it depends on what else she did. Now he gonna move the goalpost. 
You can't say you ate the shit out that booty if all you gave it was a flim flam and shimmy the bam. That's what you do. You don't go crazy, my boy. That's what you do. And when you do it, you do it the best. I don't just That's play That's what y'all be aiming to do. No. He, he overthink the shit. He, that means you going down there mediocre in your head. Like, you can eat the shit out that pussy. Without even going stupid crazy. No, then if you didn't if you didn't go stupid crazy, you didn't eat the shit What's out that pussy. What's your stupid crazy? My stupid crazy may be two different definitions. If you made her go stupid crazy, then you did your job. It might don't take that long, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga ain't gotta be down there 30 minutes. I didn't say you gotta be down there 30 minutes. You, ain't gotta, you can go stupid crazy from minute, from second one, like and go. Oh, stupid, right, stupid, stupid, stupid. Went like, crazy. Y'all be eating. And I go crazy. How long do you eat pussy for? I eat pussy for as long as I want to. Yeah, that's that for me. Yeah, sometimes, man, I, I, I ain't pussy for a whole episode of Squid Game. He tripping. Just not too long ago. No wonder he cheap on all the way up here. What do you mean? He was eating calamari. He was eating on lock. I went down there, it was 456 people in that warehouse. Yeah. Nigga, I came up here with 17 yeah. niggas. <laughs> that nigga, that crazy. You start eating the pussy on the part where they were licking the cookie. I start eating pussy on the part where he getting slapped in the train station. Damn. That boy now, you bitch. You worse than me, talking about me, my boy. Man, I eat coochie for me. I know, but you that's a long time. Because you ain't got to exert that much effort. And meanwhile, she done had six whole seizures. You see the whole episode of Squid Game, but that's a lot of killing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Long episode. Yeah. See, then you make it fun for you. So every time the lady be like, green light, red light. Now my next question is, why did you eat that much pussy? Cause now she's sleepy. Man, she had that much. <laughs> that bitch sleepy. They both sleepy. She talking about hey, you wanna fuck? Uh-uh, she is sleepy. They both sleepy. This nigga fool. He uh <laughs> Yeah. He, 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 ain't trying to, he ain't trying to fuck nothing like this. She ain't trying to You can't fuck on the floor or something? <laughs> you gotta have a way to do it, my boy. Nah, man. <laughs> eat that coochie till she go damn near special ed on you, and then you stand up and be like, and now for the main event. Damn. She sleepy, my boy. Mm, she gonna wake up. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't be asleep in my bed. Mm-mm. 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 Not in 2021. Shit, no. Bitch, your drowsy ass up, lady. So even though a bed baby sleep, she can't sleep? Mm-mm. I'm gonna cut on all lights, put on a pot of coffee. Fuck that. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But you can't be asleep while we fucking. Mm-mm. You know, I'm gonna cut all lights on and put on a pot of coffee. <laughs> Shit, no. Mm-mm. Did they sleepy while you fucking? That bitch needs some caffeine. You're doing something wrong. You're not doing the goddamn thing. You're doing something wrong. <laughs> why y'all fucking? I'd much rather know I ain't getting no pussy so I could go to sleep. You hear me? Because I'm not. I'm past the point of my life where I'm going to be up and like playing. I'm just going to go straight to On sleep. a chance. I'm not gambling. I know. No I'm, late night gambling. That shit got to be 100%. No you can't roll the dice. And the crazy sleep. part about it, I'm All grown enough sleep. to accept that ain't no fucking going on. Baby, you trying to fuck something? Nah. I, I'm grown enough to say Man. that shit first. We take these pads. Oh, uh, hey, okay. you know what? Uh, fuck a woman up. I'm going to go out and have a baby dog. Fuck that. <laughs> Man, what, don't nothing fuck a woman up like going what? to sleep we before, we, this before, before she thought. I thought you was gonna ask for some coochie. I'm not asking for no coochie. Go to sleep <laughs> while she in the tub. <laughs> nah, that's disrespectful, my boy. You said what? Go to the oh, he, he, oh, he's trying. When she go to get she ready? You talking about when she go to get that's ready? That's what I'm what? saying. No, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> you sleep while she in the shower? You try it, too. You like, fuck this shit. I'm trying no, to get I'm in there, my No, I, y'all, y'all, y'all ain't have a long day, my nigga. Y'all ain't discuss no fucking. Y'all just ate dinner, she in the shower. watch that's, that's TV a lot of right and here. shit, and then she go take a bath, and you just knock off on her head. Oh. I'm not asking for no cooch. Because we grown as fuck. You know I need some cooch. Hey, you better ask for cooch. It's 2021. I'm not. All right, all right. No, I'm so not, you I'm not, that's no what cooch. I'm saying. I'm not in the position. <laughs> <laughs> then I have what? to ask for no coochie. Huh? I'm not asking. Okay. I'm not out here seeking no coochie, so it's like, there we I go. don't have to ask. So when you walk up on a grab away, she already know. He they initiate. Out. No, he, he, she got to come and present it. She, like, like a she Amazon She knows that package. I want some coochie. Right. And I done did everything to get some coochie. Right. The yeah. last thing I'm going to do is ask for some coochie. All you got to do so is basically, you got to deny the coochie if you don't want I'm going to steal What ass. I'm saying is, I, I I have more endurance than the coochie. I will wait until coochie finds me. Like, hey, coochie, you know where I am. So, like I said, she initiated. But this ain't, I'm, I'm saying. I think I have a problem with that. What? I have to find it? 
You gotta find it. I gotta go search for it. I'm not looking for it. No I'm looking for who's looking for you. Should, but it looks like going. Aaron Coochie, so he Stop said find it and he meant that shit. Bro, this is how my life has been, bro. The first half of my life, I was running after the Coochie full speed. Right. I'm talking full speed. Right. I was running after Coochie. Coochie! Hey, 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 you are not faster than me, Coochie! <laughs> Staying up late. Weekends, ask the coochie. Relentless persona. Listen to all these bro. fucking dreams and shit that ain't gonna never happen. What you was doing? Building trust, being a good what nigga. What you was doing? Dating, well, holding hands, telling secrets, for the days. expressing well, emotions. Secrets. Now I'm at the point of my life where I'm like, hey, go ahead, coach. <laughs> no, I get up, Rich. Go ahead. Ha. Still got it. <laughs> I'm not even, man, fuck that, man. <laughs> and it's young niggas under me who still can run full speed. Go uh, get that coochie. I'm trying, I got I get it. I'm letting you know that as long as I've been running, coochie ain't took no break, coochie ain't drunk no water, coochie run like Forrest Gump. I'm telling him. I coochie ain't no dead. Dead. Coochie don't want you to get it. Get it. Ain't gonna stand still. But coochie will stop if they want you to get it. Facts. Yeah. Coochie but like the road. If you run, run it fast for it, remember, there's Coochie over there that's running for diggling. Man, there's so a Coochie over there. Look up the opposite side yeah. of the experience. And, yeah. and, and. Slow down sometimes. It might be, it might, it might be a bitch that's lapping another nigga. And if you slow down, she can catch up with you. You be like, where was you going? You already know the rule, chase the money. And them bitches gonna be chasing you. Fact. Hey, and money run a little bit faster than that coochie speed. Even mm -hmm. when you was a young nigga running full speed for coochie. Money in the car. If you really, if you really get money, you realize you can't even fuck. Money on a money like like a V8. Money, money on the bullet train, train, my boy. I'm, I'm too busy. And while we talking about I chase, never, I can never have a relationship with you, bitch. Let me I say some deep you. shit right quick. Go ahead. I, will see you I had an months. epiphany about two months ago. You know how everybody been saying, I'm chasing the bag, I'm chasing the bag, I'm chasing the bag. A bag of what? You better claim bag the whole. Candy, yeah, it's so bag of candy, You better say candy. what it is. <laughs> to chase, I looked up the word to chase. It means to pursue relentlessly with reckless abandon. It means to 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 continuously pursue. Mm -hmm. So if you chasing something, that means that that something, whatever it is, is continuously running away from you. Fact. So stop saying that you chasing the bag because that's saying that the bag, Don't whatever that is, Ooh, is, yeah. is in continuous, that ain't your bag. Perpetual. Facts. That ain't your bag. Invasion. Right, right. From Talk you. Shit. You chasing it's the perpetual, bag. Now. Nigga, I get up all day chasing the bag. That means that money be running from you. Running from all your ass. Day. Talk your Nigga, shit now. go get your bag. You hear Cause me? Because what's for you is for you. The crazy part about it is right now. Y'all do just pick it up. You chase some shit that ain't yours. I can't get this nigga bag. I can't get this nigga bag. I can't get the word chase, bro. bro. I can't get my bag. I can't get your bag. Women be like, me and love the thrill of the chase. It's no, you. Y'all said that, women have said that shit for so long that niggas have adopted that psychology. So now niggas feel like you're supposed to chase a woman that is continuously evading you. Mm -mm. That shit used to be romantic. And, and that's what I was that's saying that's earlier. That's, that's why I'm not asking for no coochie. Don't yeah. ask for no coochie, no. I'm not I asking. Don't ask for <laughs> no coochie, no. Cause I win. I'm not asking. Ask for no coochie, no. Cause I win. I'm not asking. Ask for no coochie, no. I'm not asking. And I'm not. Cause I'm not. It's fuck. I've been asking well, too long. I'm grown. It's fuck. I've been asking too long. Cause I'm grown. It's fuck. And I've been asking too long since yeah, I was out here. Since I was out here. Since the first day that I came outside. I used to look at coochie like a prize. Yeah. I used to have some coochie every day of the week. I couldn't even go to sleep if it wasn't no coochie next to me. Hey, yeah. I was really just a junkie. Yeah. Some junkie. pretty, some ugly, some funky. Hey, oh. hey. Some hang got the draws like a monkey. Some hey, scared hey. with that bone. Some really kind of chunky. Oh, I, hey, think, hey. I used to be a flunky for some coochie. Hey, hey. Had me looking round, rocking around stupid. Hey, hey. I used to be eating for an episode. And then that bitch that made a whole episode about getting her coochie ate by multiple niggas. And Damn. I didn't feel like that because I'm a hell of a nigga. And I start wondering, what the fuck does it mean? Coochie be clean if she only stay as clean. I'm a lion, I will build teeth, yeah. and I didn't get coochie. Damn. I'm her aunt to a girl, gave me the smooch. Ain't gonna lie, what you want? I take food. You have, no, don't pay for it. 
shit too hot. I said, no, no, no way, boy. boy. That coochie too, too hot. hot. I said, what's hot? It be free. Coochie everywhere, hey, my guy. Hey, with hey. the dick count. Hey. Yo, it came with a dick count. No, no, no. Yo, it came with a dick count. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. She was hungry. I took her y'all to Mickey D. What? So you hit me for some nuggets? Hey, for some nuggets and I hit it for some nuggets. Hey. Because she got a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Back in we laying this bitch down <laughs> like a do rag, do waves, nigga. Ooh. That's what this show doing to your brain, nigga. It's a lot of motherfuckers out here with smooth brain. Yeah. Hey, black men, let me ask y'all a black men question because this no, shit just be okay. This question keep popping up on everybody podcast. This is just be irking the shit out of me, bro. Are, what do is you it? You think black men are really intimidated by successful women? Successful black women? No. Why? Right. 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 No. That shit, no. That shit. No. That shit. No. That shit turns me on. I no. want to go to the bank with my woman. I want to be able to walk in the bank and be like. Yeah, we got, we share bank accounts because we make money together. Not no cuz I'm a chunk. You don't think she a chunk? <laughs> no, that shit is sexy. That shit only it has, it, it, it only intimidate niggas who are trying to control you and manipulate you and want right. them to feel on top. Them some rain man niggas to me. Not only that, not only that. At this level of the game. It's kind of a prerequisite to fuck with me. Oh, that's what it feels Talk like. your shit. Like, you can't be no lame duck, shiftless, ambitionless, having ass woman. No cabinetry, no common right. cabinet, no handicap. No, none right. of that, bro. Like, you you ain't got no drive, no imagination. You ain't came up with no side hustle. You ain't got nothing that you want to do on your own. You haven't d- begun to do Try. that. You know what they're going to say? Try. You know Don't even say? mind to fail. When oh, I got house, some dumbass questions to ask y'all. Okay, let me ask you that anyway. So look, this is weird. Yeah. check this out. The only niggas threatened by a successful woman is a nigga that ain't came up with no plan on his you own. No, know, that's what women saying right now. To make up for the fuck how they act and what they right. actually do. Because they ain't doing shit. Because they, they not taking shit. that shit into accountability a lot of times. Yeah, you a powerful woman, but you don't know how to communicate with motherfuckers. Right. And you want to goddamn split the goddamn shine. You want your shine. You don't know when it's your time to lead and when it's your time to goddamn you play the band. Right. You still and the sometimes, queen. Your king, and even, king. even like if your girl making moves, sometimes you gonna have to sit in the back and be the motherfucking trophy husband. Right. And, if and then it's gonna be times where she got to be the trophy wife, nigga, and you better hit your pose like a motherfucker. You dig what I'm saying? If your nigga can't distinguish between your being assertive and your being aggressive, right. then that means that you have no distinguishing line. Because you know how to be different with the police. Come on, man. You know how to be different with the motherfucker that signs your check on your job unless but you're completely the self-employed. The opposite of agreeing is not arguing. Yeah. Right. The opposite no. of agreeing, not arguing, fam. Disagreement, nigga. Bitch, right. we disagree. It's okay, next but we got to come to a common ground. Jeez. It's business. Yeah. Come on. And if we in the business of loving each other, why we can't come to a common ground without somebody walking away feeling like, yeah, I won. But, but the king, but the right. king, but the king also has to know, even though your woman is right and you're doing something that your woman say, the woman should always stand her position, but the king should walk in a certain manner. You still can't be talking like your position was correct. You was wrong, my nigga. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. But she's still allowing you to lead the household. Yeah. Be man enough to be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, be man enough to be wrong. You gotta, you gotta own counsel. your wrong, my boy. All right. right, before I ask the question, I gotta Because that's what she's there for. I gotta speak Facts to keep you in line. Some she's there to pick up the shit you don't. Some right. shit, it ain't no right or wrong. Facts. Some shit is just a preference of what that person is. You don't always have to be right. Like you said, you the Man, what's right for you but ain't. That's, but that's, that's yeah. coming from preference of their own perception of what, what they trying to do. Hold on, no, Just say like it, break it saying. down. What you saying? I know what Everybody's saying. standing in their position. You right. the king, bro. Right. She the queen. Right. Mm-hmm. Some shit, it ain't gonna be right. Some shit is just going to be required of fucking with this lady. This is right. how she get down. Right. She don't fuck with this. She may not never mention this other shit that bothers other people. Right. But when she say, don't do this. Yeah. It's not no necessarily no right or wrong. This is what this is I require. Right. You get what right. I'm saying? Right. So, right. so this was my next question. Could you fuck with a woman that was a rapper? 
rapper. She wasn't a good rapper. Like she sucked. She's terrible. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We talking about like diamond, wait a minute, diamond, wait a minute, diamond, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You, wait a minute. Just, you know what I do? I'm a real nigga. Is I she, just hire writers. Is she popping though? I feel like do she, she have a she good has no voice? chance? <laughs> she has no chance. She ain't calling. I don't say do that because I'm in the music. I know how that shit go. I just get a writer. She on SoundCloud. That's what all the female rappers are. I get a writer. She ain't got no buzz. She ain't no. I get a writer, my boy. But she trying. I get a writer. I sit her ass down and get her ass on team. Right. If she don't do good after them writers, I'm just talking about this specific situation. I ain't talking about no other female. No, rapper. that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm talking about the girl you fucking with. You ask her I what she do. I get her some writers. And she say I'm a rapper, but she is garbage. I get her some writers. <laughs> I'm gonna have to tell her, baby. She, she got to get good. that writers ASAP. That ain't good. I'm not paying for no that writers. I'm gonna write in some shit. No, yeah. I'm just gonna be like rapping like this. I'm in B, I'm in B, I'm in B. But if she can't, if she can't take no criticism, like no, this is my art. Like this is how, I, this is what I want to do. I don't need no. If she can't, I ain't paying for no shit. You ain't good at. Okay, you never know what. All right, like, bitch. All right, bitch. All right, bitch. All right, bitch. All right, No, no, no. That's no. no. what I'll do. That's what I'll do. I'll use all my power and influence, you, influence of everywhere that I done got in the I'm game you, and all the DJs that I know personally, <laughs> and they'll put it on they kill it or fill it, and we'll let the crowd decide. If they kill that shit, <laughs> and you ready to do it my way? <laughs> I brought you the BCD. You was a bunch of writers? <laughs> <laughs> she love me to forget all about you. She go to the first interview. Yeah, my ex boyfriend was lame in here. Yeah. And then you said that, that was the title of my album. She gonna be a damn. I played him my song, he need like it. What if I you tell her tomorrow. she suck and then she fuck around and blow? <laughs> they gonna be an ad lib. Trinidad James. Trinidad James. She wasn't a bunch of I'll go to everything was the song. Oh, he would get you he he working until that song. She wouldn't have blew if you Man, didn't leave. You keep Sometimes that's what it takes. I'm telling you, he would work. He had like 12 minutes. It takes take a minute for your shit to hit, man. Bro, that ain't gotta take up, a minute. Bro. God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he put in that work. Up until that moment, it worked. Like, and he'll tell you himself, he wasn't taking rap seriously up until that moment. <laughs> Fuck no, bro. You always been trying to speak high level. Like, nah, that's my way. dog. You ain't gonna do my dog. What's like, 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 that's my <laughs> next shit you talking about? <laughs> hey, bro, I'm one of them niggas. Like, if you gonna be mad at me because I told the truth, you was already nah, mad at me. Nah, that fact. But he did, he did have a little bit of Now? Uh, uh, yeah, see, he just did a song with He made with, uh, a hit, though. He just did a song with Morris Day. He, 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 he got down on that. He got down on that. He got down on that. So did he finally win you as a fan? Yeah, I've been a fan ever since I'll go everything. Because when, when he did an interview and he was like, I'm not a rapper, but now that I'm a rap star, I'm So you I'm was mad before he was? I wasn't mad at him, but I was <laughs> you know, I was just like laughing at the buffoonery of it all. This nigga was walking down the street, shirt off, beside your shirt, red pants, very tight. That's so Gold dope. shoes. You had on some red pants first time I met you, my nigga. No, but they wasn't red tight. Oh, so you be judging, motherfucker. You be doing the same thing. Nigga walk around with his Eddie Murphy pants, but he can't oh, walk well, around he with his Eddie Murphy pants. My pants were salmon. They weren't very red. That's salmon? pink. Yeah, salmon. That's pink. That's, that's in between that's, pink that's, and red. That's almost, is it, you know? That's reddish pink or pink is red, depending on how you look at it. That's the same thing as pink is red, nigga, it's pink. He called it salmon, so I know they were high red. Pink is red. Pink is red. Or red is pink, depending on how you look at it. You say they like you ain't got no red pants. They run with a pimp. What's his name? Pink you ain't got no red pants. I got some some red stripes in it. You ain't got no pink pants. Hell no, nah, nigga. Who the fuck got the fuck pink pants? I got pink pants in my closet just cause for what occasion? Nigga, you got some of them <laughs> breast cancer uh, awareness. You got you got some of them Beyonce and Jay Z brunch outfits, nigga. I'm not picking the pink pants to go to Jay Z brunch in. Be like, man, we finna go see Jay Z. <laughs> Give me my pink pants. <laughs> <laughs> Where in the way these motherfuckers? I've been waiting to pull the pink wrenches out, baby. Waiting to pull these pink motherfuckers. This is the day for the pink wrenches, baby. Where the pink motherfuckers? Yeah. They in the back. What do you mean you ain't taking them to the dry cleaner? They in the back. They yeah. in the box. Oh. In the safe. You came up from the generation where niggas don't crease their pants, huh? Hell yeah, yeah. On the side, you can't do them down the middle. If you do them down the middle, you ain't you ain't hip. If they still going down the middle, yeah, I came. You, you came up in the generation where we creased our jeans. You remember that shit, Clayco? Yeah. Did y'all yeah, crease y'all jeans in Florida? No, now, not like how y'all did in Texas, nigga. No. Y'all crease y'all jeans in Mississippi. Like hard. We, we crease y'all Not how y'all know. Stay flow start. Stay, come on, Lowe's. Start you like Archie. Can your pants stand up on oh, the ground by itself? Don't fuck around. They used to. Job. I don't do that shit no more because that shit ain't, ain't cool. But I'm going to tell crazy. you what MJG fucked the whole South up. Nah, when A-Ball said. Nah, uh, what was that? Uh, Nigga, I don't know. 
heavy starch in my jeans with some, uh, with the Creel, some Nikes. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck the whole guy. I'm talking about crease be sharp. You can cut yourself on the help. No cap. Razor blade crease, nigga. We used to be, nigga. Oh, we used to oh, wear so much bullshit. I still start my shit cheap and they some cool ladies. And my favorite cup. Comb my hair and get my grill right so I can feel tight. Get this car to my jeans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As I spray. Mm -hmm. Out the mm -hmm. door. To my superb. Mm -hmm. Pause by the curb. Mm -hmm. Care to come to bird. Mm -hmm. The sun got my cake. Mm -hmm. Good enough to eat. You can tell by the way the girls act across the street. Hit the horn. But no stalling. Keep balling. Sunday, I gotta hit the mall and fall Pull up them green trees, hurry up so I can catch Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. spray. They need to take a few classes. Mm -hmm. Learn about my glasses. Mm -hmm. Pressure got me clean. Mm -hmm. Talking on the phone, tell the pen. That's the way to do it, baby. Represent your home. Yeah, in my own. Nah, that's my fucking candy, in see? Home, fucking around, yes, huh? Oh, yeah. This is the beat I was playing in my head. Oh, okay. Them niggas got legendary shit. Uh, nah, I was broke as a motherfucker. Song. My life at the end. <laughs> see. Now, see, I know what that one is. Ain't got no ends to leave me. My job at Mickey D's was fucking me with no grease. I worked so fucking hard, but my ends, they never increase. I had my fucking job. I had no job, nigga. And they said, I quit my fucking job. I had no job, nigga. I gotta reinforce that. I gotta reinforce, I gotta reiterate. <laughs> he said, nigga. I had no job, nigga, but you quit. <laughs> You have one, but you quit it. You quit it. Rap lyrics be going off, man. <laughs> hey, a lot of them songs and them lyrics didn't age well. Damn, baby. Yeah. A lot of those don't get into the age yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. We already had. Oh, yeah. damn show did. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah boy, that shit, that shit was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He damn sure did. Jay Z did get in Delta Hall of Fame, Let's go. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, Carter, let's go, man. Yeah, it's about time he came to the trap, too. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. It's about time y'all get Jay-Z. Matter of fact, Jay-Z, now that I've been here, Dame Dash, come to the trap. Facts. Work that shit out, man. Come on, man. Come talk that shit out, right? Ain't no way you can't smoke, Jay, not with them wicks in your head. Oh, you got You got them wicks. You got a two time B. Dame, I know you smoke this now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are integral in the hip hop community. I switch all the way to Rouse. We'll switch more Rouse. Come on, don't talk this shit out, man. Wonder if I gotta be cold ahead. Let me just get my sand. They can sit here and you know I'm actually disappointed, Fly. We'll step out. I thought I just thought you was gonna make two peanut butter and jelly for your boy like you always do, goddamn. Oh, okay, goddamn. The comments, cause they said, bro, you when that nigga make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you know this shit finna be fine. Boy, cause really I'm finna get one of these Capri Suns out here just cause I'm on the show, goddamn. Man. I got to get a bonus on. I can't wait to see this one episode. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> I, got to get I can't wait to sit and smoke the fattest blunt and just relive the moment. I can't wait. Oh, it's Friday. It's coming out. You need to hurry the fuck up. You don't even understand. Okay. I'm so anxious. I have never been anxious to watch an episode like I am ready to watch this episode. <laughs> I, I can't wait hey, it's to going see down. my funky ass down. You know what it'd be the perfect Boy, time wait. to bring up? Channel 85. Yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. Shout out to everybody who we got in here early. If you in there early, early, early like Shirley. Yeah. You in there early get that like Shirley. Yeah. Go get that app, y'all. Come on, man. Download that Stream shit. We got a new stream. Hey, man, it's the No Cap app. Ain't that what you say? It's the only way you're going to catch the new no episode of uh, the Ghetto Legends. Hey, matter of fact, I need to get that app while I'm bugging. It's the only way you're going to catch the episodes of the Ghetto Legends tour. Do it. We supposed to have a password. Go to channel 85. I don't do no password. I want to buy this shit. Go to channel 85. I want these motherfuckers to be like, he, he ain't really mine. Yes, I am. I don't want no free nothing. I'm going to buy this shit, too. So I'll spend my own money. Everybody on it. Everybody got to get it. Channel85.com, I'm going to do it right now. Channel 85. And it's also the cheapest and most affordable streaming service. Definitely is. You know some shit. Hey. Oh, and you can get it for $85 a year. That's only $85 a year. $8.50 a month. $8.50 a month. Boy, we're prohibited. Restrictions apply. Yeah. Channel85.com. Yeah. 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 I remember when WWW used to be a big thing. Yeah, yeah you don't even got to say that. You got to put the WWW in there. You got to use the WWW. You got to do the HTTP. You got to put your WWW on there. HTTP. WWW. HTTP. Make sure you put the HTTP. Backslash, backslash.
Nash. Nip, 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 well, that that nigga what you mean, true, you? It was shit oh, other than Dot Com, nigga. Sing me out, Dot Com. Yep, you was the only one. Dot Com. Asshole, you gonna try wow. to single me out like we all wasn't looking up porn. Like we all didn't put viruses on our parents' That's computers. That's what taught us how to use computers. Absolutely. Porn taught us how to use computers. Hold on, yeah, I saw- We had DVD, man. I saw porn from- the chip in the cable box. Okay. Yeah. So where you yeah. got the chip in the cable box, and then, and then the when channels when was 99 was and 98. And you get the 90, nobody, once you get to about 75, ain't no more channels. Right, so nobody should even be turning up there. You can turn like up there and with your parents. They'll snatch the remote from, where the fuck you going? Right, 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 right. You get right, back right, to where you going. Right. You don't watch that yeah, shit. Don't you get, don't but we you get getting everything in the ranges But zone. we getting Luke's peep show free. Luke used to have a little freaky uh, show. Then he coochie. You know what I'm saying? See, because I was looking for black women and you were seeing them. You were seeing hot body content on some of the pay per view shit. Man, I had all that shit. You don't remember the box? The box? We had to Watch all the music videos, man. Listen, and then later at night they would play all the when they would play loop. Uncut. Listen. listen. You a nasty man. I remember when a loop video we had was the considered chill. soft core porn, but you go back and watch a loop video now, that shit lame as hell. Still to this day, loop. You know, watch the my hometown. Compared Luke, to what these kids out here doing these days, Luke, Luke, Luke is tame. In my hometown, everybody on stage was fucking. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. Right. They said loop. And Luke, you gotta come on this bitch. They said, they said this motherfucker had a boat with the radio signal out and like the water down there in Florida outside. So it was like international shit. So he could broadcast the song because they wouldn't play his shit Bro, on the radio. Bro, they banned Luke like Luke was the yeah, devil. And if you go watch a Luke video now, that shit look like you watching Girls Gone Wild or That's the old T yeah, or anything station. else that like is now. He gonna change his life now. He ain't gonna even wanna talk about all the, sh- the way he brought Coochie to the mainstream. What? He did. He was excited about it. That's what I loved about Luke. Luke be so excited he can't get his own words out. Yeah. He was... Like that motherfucker. You don't even know the word. Ain't nothing but so. Yeah. Hey, but you gotta remember in '94. You don't know them words. You in '94. You in Miami, and this is the first time a girl has ever popped her pussy in a handstand. <laughs> And then she busted down in a split. <laughs> and bop, bop, bop. You don't even know what to say. You, uh, 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 uh. you know what that means. Do the bear. Do the bear. <laughs> what is that one? Kati coming. Kati coming. Wait, Wait, man. Man. Hey, this nigga it's shouting like out niggas that didn't exist. Looking around the club. You got to keep in mind, he's shouting out random people that the world don't even know. This? Go, Cherry. It's your birthday. birthday. Go, Go, Cherry. Cherry. And then get in there like, go to the ring, No, this nigga shout out fictional people. This nigga said Santa Claus coming, Captain D coming, Verb coming, Trick coming. No, this nigga had some food. This nigga had some food. They had a whale in the club, nigga. This nigga had ordered some food. A whale in the club, nigga? Somebody said, what y'all want? He said, Captain D's. And they was like, Luke, we home. He was like, Captain D coming. Santa Claus coming. Captain D coming. Who's Santa Claus with the nigga with the cocaine? He coming with the sack. Damn, Santa Claus. And then Claus just got through that. watching Free Willy at the hotel, so nigga like, Free Willy. <laughs> I'm telling, I ain't gonna tell you what I think he came from. What, what? Santa Claus? Somebody mm-hmm. had that. Which one are you talking about? Somebody free will? It. I yeah, know what free will is. How's time? Somebody, six. You sound crazy. Screw the ground. Screw the ground. Big booty hoes. Big booty hoes. Hoochie mama. I ain't even gonna catch. I, I wanna see a real mama in the mid 90s. Nigga, I think Hoochie mama better than the Hoochie. If you know a thought, go look at her mama. She a Hoochie mama. She a Hoochie. I think I prefer Hoochie. Hoochie ain't nothing but a thought from the 90s. Give me the Hoochie. Hoochie was loyal. Hoochie's gave birth to thoughts. Hoochie's loyal. That's what I'm saying. Hoochie's got girls. Hoochie's got pregnant when Cash Money Records took over. When was that? The 99 nine and the 2000. Nah, them wasn't the hoochies. So, them wasn't the hoochies. Them was hoochies. Their mamas was hoochies. Their mom, oh, they, mom, 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 mamas was skeezers. Nah, no, skeezers in the 70s, OG. Exactly. Hoochies like late 80, early 90s. Exactly. So they got pregnant in the late 90s, early 2000s. So now they, they kids is 19, 20, 21, 22. Mm-hmm. Bro, it's been so many different breeds of hoes in these streets. Fact. And you remember who walked? I remember the Uwa. Oh, yeah, they were before Boppers. I remember Boppers was out there. Boppers was out there. Hey, Boppers wasn't too bad. 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 Boppers wasn't
Everybody wanted some boppers. Everybody wanted some boppers. I think that was the first side chick. You like, you ain't no boppers? Hey, everybody bought a Caprice for the boppers. A bopper. You know what it wasn't a lot of, though? A bopper. What's that? Just very few. What? Yams. Oh, a yeah. yam? Oh, a little yam yeah. for me? No, 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 yeah. no, Oh, you gotta have a little yeah. yam. I ain't hear yeah. about yam. Yam game the sack chasers. You don't know about the yam? Yeah. 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 You don't know about the shrimp, man. You don't know about the shrimp. 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 You been hurt. They call yams. They call yams. I'm gonna tell you about the shrimp. Teenagers run away. But like you said, though. All of us too young. Didn't none of us get to fuck with no skeezers, though. No. Nah, if you fuck with a skeezer, you were molested. You ain't like Antoine Fisher. Yeah. You yeah. fuck with a skeezer. Yeah. Skeezer you know what was out here? Skeezers. A hussy, uh, a skeezer. A hussy. A Jezebel. A Jezebel, uh, nigga. Nah, that's your granddaddy now. Your granddaddy <laughs> fucked out a Jezebel. Your granddaddy you knocked some Jezebels out. Like you. Daddy knocked off some hussy. You, you, you hussy, you hussy. Hussies, home wreckers, tramps, whatever they go. Your granddaddy yeah. knocked off some round heels. Now, home record yeah, was Yeah, round here. Home Imagine record. if your heels home were round. Keep quiet. It's easy to knock you down. So they used to call girls round heels when home they were ladies of the like. night. Home record went mine being the second, third, white yeah. so well. Yeah. Long as you treat Selling it good. Selling pussy. As long as you treat it good. What's that? A home record don't mind if you sit around. No, no. A home record is the one that want to fuck your house days. up. No, they, they, they used to claim them as the home record. Home record, like home, home home record became a no, 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 no. This bitch already knew what y'all was doing. No, no, no. The home record, that uh -huh. bitch, she was new about. Uh -huh. But she wasn't in the mix. The home record is the bitch that insert they shit. The, the home record show up. But you know, like, the song called home, home record. Actually trying to break and it all up. He's coming. Like yeah, now, that's, that's the just home crazy. record. Now you got some home record. Yeah. They be saying that home record that ain't really home record. Now see, a lot of people don't know this too. Home record, record home. Shorty and shorty. It's two totally different. Nah, no, right. A shorty is your child. Shorty is, no. is, is old no. girl over there. No, see, you are, you mixing up the mood. You mixing that for me? food up. Yeah, go throw him now. Great, that was a horrible pass. You see, he been trying to intercept the last three. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the smoking session. Oh man, we got yeah. Clayton English. Yeah. Oh man, this Come on, man. Loaded. Black man. This is just. We got Jenny over there, man. With the pimping, man. He playing that baby shower music today. I'm telling you, man. Y'all need to sleep in. Hey, Play me some pimping, man. Jaylen don't know how to ask him. He's been selling his beats. I see bubbles. I see fishes. I see bubbles. We got some pimping on the way. What did you say, DC? I see fishes and bubbles. Turn the pimping up. I see bubble cupping. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Feel like I'm playing Donkey Kong in this bitch. That's the uh, stage on Mario when you go in the water. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh huh. 85 South Show. So, you no. feel me? Yo. Podcast Back again. For everybody who knows exactly what's wrong with their car. Getting dividends. No. Fuck you and your friends. You dig? Talking about Wilskus. <laughs> Check the Wilskus. Come on. You a real nigga? If you ever fuck sisters. Yeah. Real talk. I did. Show did. Talking about split it. Split it. Split it. Mm. Ooh, yeah. split it. Yeah. Ooh, get in. Yeah. No divide in. I'm hit in. Yeah. Fuck some sisters, man. That pussy in the family. Oh, okay. I want to see it. I can do that to see if it's familiar. Mm. Oh, I got to fuck both of Brenda's children. Both of her children. To see if they like Mildred. That's their like grandma. That's their like grandma, <laughs> too. That was my grandma, too. That's, no, that's nasty. You can't fuck the whole family like that. No, you uh, can't just fuck the whole family. You said if you get the sister, you, you got to just keep like, going to the high trip. Well, let me tell you about it. Because no, I, I support keeping it in the family. Yeah, we are now, 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 I ain't fuck two sisters. Mm -hmm. That sound like too much drama, bro. Uh -huh. Did fuck a bitch and her mama though. Oh no! It happened on two separate occasions mm. in two separate cities mm. on two separate days. It was amazing. Yeah. Okay, like nigga, let me tell you, I fucked the mama first, and then got on to her. They met the daughter, Ooh. and she was kind of thirsty. Ooh. And she was backstage, uh -huh. and she was like, "You were real good." Took her to the hotel and gave her real wood. Uh -huh. She called her mama. Uh -huh. Like, I fucked her coming. And her 
mama said who? And she sent my picture. Who? And then the mama called me, said you had fun last night. I said, what you talking about? She said, my daughter real tight. Damn. I said, that was your daughter? Damn. She said, I ain't say nothing. Uh-huh. I was like, cool for that. She was like, what's up, what? Mm. So you gave her a home? Yeah. <laughs> you gave her a home? Fucked again. Damn. No. So he paid for some. You paid for some. Cut it off. That's enough. Did he just say he paid? He ain't paid for off. shit? You now got paid for it. Man, gave up. Black run. That's we we don't support that kind of man. shit. No, I no, you, 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 yes, you, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I said she no, kept it home. No. You said you kept it home. And I said you gave it home. And you like I gave it home. No. I went and looked at you like, hey, I gave it home. No. You know when you gave a bit of money, you go down it up. He said, hey, I gave it home. That's enough. We had to cut it off. <laughs> no, no. No. Hell no. Flag on the plate. <laughs> you don't never say up and down. Now I gave them niggas some money. No. I gave them some money. No. No. I gave them some money. No. Well, I thought you were talking about. You said you gave them some money. You said you gave them some money. No, I gave them some money. And then they gave her the hundred. Nigga, like. I'm going to just go ahead and say it right now. Not no money. So it won't be no surprise, bro. They gonna pause this shit and they gonna roast the fuck out of you for crossing your legs like that. I mean, that's some shit, man. Nigga laughed at that because he ain't had no real father. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good comeback. That's a nigga that laughing. Was a great comeback. I'm watching it crying. I had to think about it. I was like, Your <laughs> 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 daddy said like this when he didn't pay it all the big <laughs> Now, now, what's it about you, uh, your teacher that called the house? Oh, shit. <laughs> you were raised a great father. That nigga crazy. Never knew your real daddy. Man. I don't even argue with niggas that never do their real daddy. They got a different outlook on life. That's fact. Like, them niggas have no respect for authority and shit. Yeah. That's a nigga that really can't see things straight. Nigga that grew up with, 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 without his real daddy. Especially if your mama had a lot of boyfriends. Damn. Oh, that's a nigga that's volatile. That's a nigga that allowed to shoot that bitch up. Don't say that. For real, that, that. that nigga just need a hug from his real daddy. That's all it be, he gonna cry too. Yeah, like he gonna break down. He gonna break down. Yeah. Shoot it in shoulder to shoulder. I don't know what that shoulder to shoulder do, but as soon as it show, it gonna activate. Nigga start hitting the back here, bounce. Nigga just in that old. <laughs> he do all that crying, then he gonna get a hug from his daddy. Smell all that liquor on his father, he gonna be like, fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did all this crap for nothing. This nigga drunk. Uh, Niggas be getting out the middle of tanks and shit. That nigga done did 20 yeah, all years in the pen. Stop he done need his real daddy. He hug him one time. What's that crying, bro? That's all a nigga needed that whole time. Okay, so our, our father's allowed to call his son's son after a certain amount of time. I feel like it should be like a certain amount of time. Like Call your son's son as long as you his real daddy. Come on, man. I mean, you can, but it's like... A nigga that ain't your real daddy can't call you his son him. once you got your own child. I'm proud of him. I call him son because I'm proud But your real daddy can call you son as long as he your real daddy. They have feel. I don't, I don't fuck with them punk ass pussy ass niggas who can't be in their children life. Neither do I. I don't, like, you just can't come back in your child life and be like, son. I mean, man, no. you ain't got every right to be like, <laughs> I mean, bro. My name is Jack. Hey, bro. Your name is bro. Bro. And I'm gonna be standing right there like, yeah, call that nigga bruh, bruh. <laughs> See, now that's a nigga, that, that's a nigga that's been his father. That's not a nigga that's been his dad. I ain't been his father. What I'm saying is, you, you ain't, if you ain't been your kid's daddy, you can't call them son and You daughter. said. No, I, I don't step in people's relationship with their parents. But what I'm saying is, I don't respect No, you can't, you can't come, come out of nowhere like, and call All right, them, let me be your father. All right, son, let me tell you. Like, get your whole ass home. You talking about one of them random niggas and be like, listen to me, son. Listen to me, man. Like, can they make that nigga? Like, how you say, I'm going to take your position. You nigga got back in your life now that you're Like, you thinking like you can, this your son, you can just do that when you want to. And he thinking he going to respect you as his son. Like, but he ain't seen you. I ain't seen you in damn near 12 years. I'm going to say daddy. No. You ain't taught me shit. No, no, that's different. I'm talking about a nigga that's ever present in his children's life. Well, See, that's all, every one of them situations. Is... I don't hang out with niggas that, that, that ain't there for their kids. You know what I'm I, I like to, I don't keep that kind of company. I like to be around real niggas that do real shit and at all times. You'll be surprised who those niggas are, though. Niggas be right up on you, be acting like you taking care of your kids. I ain't seen they child. 
in years. Exactly. Well, tell you what, you know, I'm just having myself. Nigga, how you go months? Bro, hey, it, during the height of the COVID, I couldn't see my daughter from her birthday until Father's Day. That was four months, four calendar months in a row. That shit like to drove me crazy, bro. I would call her mama. But it's just like going you said. On the phone, really cussing, though, going crazy, all that shit. Bitch, bitch, I'll burn your house down. If you don't let me see my baby, bitch. Are <laughs> you say all the wrong shit? That nigga crazy. You talking about me, motherfucker? I ain't say <laughs> shit. He crazy. he crazy. I ain't say that. I mean, I ain't do the shit. She know I ain't gonna do that shit. <laughs> yeah, you better, yeah, yeah, that, that would be but the But see, even, even about it, like, with us being on the road, like, I know for a fact, like, I make sure I, I check in every day, but I know it could be some time where you like, damn, I don't let the day go by, you like shit. So you like, you wanna check in and shit, make sure that you there all the time. Yeah, but, but it, gotta like you just said earlier, all them niggas ain't even built right to be having no kids. A lot of people don't deserve to have children. That children ain't are call. a gift, That ain't your call again. No. You can't say that. No. Good like children are a gift. Children. children are a gift, and right. a lot of people don't deserve the gift that children are, bro. But see, this is the way God set it up. At some point at, of their life before they leave, they gonna have to face that. They gonna have to. Yeah. And then, like you said, it's, it, may, it may or may not be too late in retrospect. That's on the child, then. Well, yeah. you know, a child is on a ch That's why they call it a childhood, because it's a period in your life. If you can survive that, and you once you yeah, become Childhood and adulthood. Childhood is on the But even in your adulthood, you're going to always be <laughs> a child. You're going to always be a child. It's seen long when you're little, but adulthood is forever. Childhood like Bro. that. Bro. That's why you shouldn't be in a rush to be grown. That's what my granny used to tell me. Yeah. Yeah. That shit made no dog. sense when I was a kid. Be like, what you mean rush to get grown? I can't even rush. You can only live one day at a time. But I was really rushing to get grown. Nigga, I wish I could go back and be No, we were just rushing to do what we wanted to do. Right. That's all it was. We really yeah. wasn't rushing for no responsibility. Hell no, nah, we just yeah. rushing to do what we want that. to do. I want to go outside. First, you ain't grown. Well, I need to be grown then. Yeah, because they made being grown sound like everything. Like, <laughs> you go your ass to bed. I can't. You when be you grown. get grown, God, you get your grown. own house. You can stay up late as you want to. Get the fuck out of my refrigerator. When you I get grown, you eat what you want to eat. Yes, get the fuck out of my phone. You get grown, you stay on the phone all night long. You ain't grown. You want to. Need to be That's crazy. Our parents all hit the same shit, though. No, fact. Like, they all was on code. They were like, this is what we gonna tell these little right. niggas. I brought you in this world. <laughs> if they say that, and you say this. Shit. Yeah. Nigga, they had a my black dad and coach. They was sending me back and forth. You want every time I say, oh, who be my dad? Man, call that nigga, man. I think sometimes when they used to leave the house, they weren't going to the club. They were going to the club. Man, tell him, come get your ass. Nigga, fuck you talking about? They were going to see the pair means, my nigga. They weren't even going to the club sometimes. Me and your mama will be back. Now, we left food in the stove. Don't y'all answer this door. Don't you answer my fucking phone for nobody. We'll be back in a little bit. They were going to parenting meetings. Yeah. They were sitting around and sharing stories. Now, you tell her what happened. Well, mine stood up and told me, why won't you just let me live my own fucking life they and make my own fucking me? mistakes, mom? They were going to secret parenting meetings, bro, underground parenting meetings. That's why they all say the same shit. Oh, That's why they all say the same shit. Really shit. About to whoop your okay, ass. raise your hand. That's what I said. The bomb of spaghetti you ever yeah. had in your life. Yep. Lasagna, too. My mom too. couldn't cook. She, she could cook, she could cook. But, but she couldn't cook, but she can make spaghetti. Nope. No. Your mom couldn't make spaghetti. Nope. nope, you better grab you one of them cinnamon swirls. <laughs> <laughs> what you was eating, bro? Cinnamon swirls? <laughs> what you was eating for dinner? He <laughs> can't swirl. <laughs> John John, man. I was taking two of them. I'm taking my roll, I unravel it. John John. He lying, man. Don't believe this shit, Black Run. John John. Come on, man. That's what's dinner. <laughs> I used to unravel it. No wonder. I used to unravel it. <laughs> and I used to break them up into chips. <laughs> now. That's all right. <laughs> Pecan chip? It's all right. Hold <laughs> on. Y'all think I'm playing? Yes, we do. It'd be two boxes of pecan swirls. So your mom can't. Okay, your... Uh huh. She, my mama sit them in a, in a perfect position where I can grab them. Don't bother her. I can just grab them. Yeah. For dinner? Whenever I need it. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Whenever I needed a pecan <laughs> swirl. <laughs> My mom hungry. Get some squirrels. What's he doing? You got it. My mom hungry. We out of squirrels. 
I'm putting this out, man. We got some pizza as well. So what would happen if we had a swirls? We got some sausage patties in there if you want. If you want to put sausage some sausage patties in the in the in the in the So you ain't gonna put no sausage patty between the swirls, make it like a swirl no, and sausage sandwich. Put the sausage patty in the bed, uh, in the bread and put and put the syrup on. I created the Mac griddle. McDonald's sold me. <laughs> I promise on everything, my boy. McDonald's, I created that Mac griddle. So how you get the little syrup pieces <laughs> off in the bread? They the saw me. I used to take a hot cake and saucer with the extra sauces and dip my sausage in the syrup yeah. and put my pancake in between the sauce and make a sandwich. Yeah. Somebody saw me. <laughs> Stole that shit. And before I knew it, I seen the Mac griddle. I said, Mom, I make this every day. <laughs> She bitch. said, you sure do. Bitch you, bitch you for your idea. But, beat me, Matt Griddle, but. So for dinner, you would eat a sausage sandwich with syrup on it sometime, or with the spin wheel for Absolutely. dessert. If, if my mama went and got McDonald's, we had a great week. That's crazy, bro, because everybody else mama can cook. That's crazy. Facts. That's why I like other people's food. So you was that kid that would come over there and just like linger around oh, till dinner time. Crazy. Oh. Go crazy. Go crazy. You'd be like, my mama would have skinny and had three plates. My mama would have loved you. My mama would be like, eat some more. Eat again. Get wow. some more, baby. I'm that little nigga, you shed a light on. We looking at you uh, like, no, John, get the fuck out the guy. Let y'all shut up and let that baby eat. Yeah. My mama would have fucking loved you, boy. This nigga, nigga I'm gonna look up in the middle of the night. Woke your mama up. You'd have ate a cramp in your bed at my mama's house. Can I have another plate? <laughs> Help yourself, baby. Not saying sure. my mama starved me. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. My mama one of the ones who was appreciative. She make it out the can. She's all fundamental. She ain't put no seasoning on nothing. <laughs> she ain't no nothing. She'll make a whole feast. And it's just out the can. Rice, yams. Salty gravy <laughs> and other shit, and it's just out the can. What's the meat? No nothing. <laughs> Sausage patties. She, she probably didn't even. She probably didn't put no vegetable oil and cook it. It was just just cook out the can. It's just out the can. Can it got hot? It's heated just hot. It got heated up, and you better eat. You like this ain't. This ain't what it's supposed to be. I can't get between them. <laughs> if I say no, I look on the preacher. You can't be ungrateful. You can't be ungrateful. You can't be ungrateful. You can't be ungrateful. You better not be ungrateful. You better not be ungrateful. You're gonna go to bed hungry. I'm like, I got to Boy, that's something I've never told my child. We're gonna go to bed hungry. I just take it with me. I'm gonna have to do it later. I have some spin wheels, thanks. Franco, what your mama made real good? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So oh, much shit, shit, man. Yeah, I done hated this nigga. I was like, what Your mom's going down? Yeah, gumbo, oh, man, motherfucking bro. lasagna. Everything, man. She make dope it's lasagna. Whole she house just, she just cook. People just cooking she ass. She just cook super good ass shit, man. Like, she'll put some shit that you ain't even know was good. So I ain't know yogurt. Like, you come I from like yogurt, hundred, salad. hundred years of light-skinned people. Like, it's deeply ingrained in your soul. No. Y'all been cooking. Y'all no. been cooking since the plantation. No. <laughs> what was y'all doing? We was, was out, doing? we was outside. We no, was you wasn't outside. We nigga. was picking. You <laughs> wasn't outside. What your people cook, nigga? This nigga worked oh, with horses. Oh, nigga. He couldn't wait somebody to ask him. What your people cook? What? My people. Mm, this nigga, nigga Black Rock. <laughs> It was black small. First of all, I'm the youngest. I'm the youngest barbecue aficionado that I've ever met. Barnicianado. Barnicianado. That just means you like it a lot, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, like. So you just a pork man. You the only no, nigga that like meat that eat much. Eat pork. That's the cold part. So I had to start cooking other things mm -hmm. to like, like I can make turkey wings. Then you take the flat of a turkey wing. But then you say you always cook at other people's houses. So we both was on the same <laughs> shit. The fuck you talking about? No, I need I'm talking about to eat. now that I'm you grown. You cooking at somebody's spot. I'm talking about now that I'm hey, grown. We both spend the night. Now that I'm grown. But when people come to my house, you got to eat. A little black rum was just cooking people's shit in their refrigerator. <laughs> they you nigga cooked a pound of hamburger meat. I ain't getting this started. What the fuck? I'm just getting started. Thanks for having I me over. I think it tastes good. Y'all go sit down. I'll let you know when it's done. The meatloaf is almost done. I'm Leonardo DiCaprio. How y'all doing? I'm Ron. I came to help Clayton with his math homework. I'll go ahead and get dinner started. Y'all wash y'all hands. So y'all wash y'all hands. Y'all ain't have no Rotel tomatoes, so. I had to dice up these that was in the refrigerator. I used some tomato paste. That nigga is stupid, bro. Nigga. Hell no. Oh. But my mama made yeah. sure that we were super fucking efficient. Like, my mama was in the military. My daddy uh, came up in a very strict fucking household and shit. 
Like, I'm gonna make sure we can wash clothes, cook, I can sew. You can sew? Yeah. yeah. What you sew? The like, sweater? Not only can I mend, like, <laughs> patches and shit. Eight, five, seven. No, that's knitted, nigga. You don't sew a sweater, you knit the sweater. You got a little thing. He crochet. <laughs> That's not so. Right, I was like, I, I did take Love home me. in ninth grade because it came it's with a cooking part of course. The family, and a, and oh, it was, yeah. Facts. It's yeah, that's family. part of the black. That's 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 African. Facts. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 you know, my heritage. Right. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, if, if anybody got a, a grandparent that's over seventy years old and they got quilts, it was crochet before the before the machine. Not throwing fucking quilts away. You're probably throwing away your family history. No cap, unless that's they right. stink. Even if they stink. Them bitches hold good PP. You're not you know, you know, you know, you know to get the stink out of them. Unless that bitch leopard print. You know how to get the stink out of them? You know how to get the stink out of them? You know how to get the stink out of them? You soak them in some water with some vinegar, vinegar. and some 20 mule vinegar. team. That's borax. 20 who? 20 mule team. I ain't even got the quilts no more. You soak that shit in some, in some white vinegar and some 20 mule team, and then you hang it outside and let the sun shine. Cleaning of all this impurities. This is why our ancestors used to hang their laundry out on lines. And that shit'll be so motherfucking fresh and so motherfucking clean and shit. Come up from smelling like outside. From, st from smelling like outside, but it, it depends on where you stay. In now. the sunshine. Now, if you live around <laughs> where they don't smell like back in the sunshine. You smell like Wisconsin. In the fucking <laughs> <air. laughs> <laughs> Smell like pee again. This smell like pee again. This smell like pee again. You done did this for the motherfucker too long. You like, shit, I gotta go. This shirt long as fuck now. <laughs> Lincoln's got a bunch of family history, don't nobody want to Yeah, but them yeah, quilts, bro. Great Aunt Cheryl was sucking dick. That's some slob on that blanket. Yeah. <laughs> she squirted it on that one. She was wiping my mouth. <laughs> she got caught. But that, that was one way that, that our families used Your to Uncle pass Judy the history along, born, especially if, if slaves were being sold. If a slave was being sold, they would give them the quilt to take with them to the next plantation. You might got a quilt. You know, you know, Burberry don't fuck with us. You seen they, uh, they let that, that, that dark skinned girl put that noose around That's why this ain't the real Burberry. It's almost, but they yeah. gonna thank it. That's fur bear. That's the blue bear. But they gonna thank it is. They were just the wonder bear. Yeah, I got this. I got it at Ross. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, but people gonna think that you fuck with. It worked though. Yeah. And they gonna it be like, yeah. shit. It's just fashion. They ain't gonna do shit though. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna do it like Philip Hudson. Uh, I don't even know nothing about bear bear. Mm -hmm. I just did it because he hit with that little burgundy out there shirt, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What that P mean, right? That little splat. This right here, this is Jade. This is carved Jade. So it has a couple of different figures and rooms carved into it. A little bit of our history from South America and from Mexico. Thanks. That's African history also. Thanks. So you know what I mean? Yeah. Tell you, our, our history is also in uh, Chinese and, and, and Eastern Asian history. Mm -hmm. Talk to your talk. You look at the Buddha, that's a, that's a black woman with Bantu knots. Talk to your talk. You know what I'm saying? And she was actually not the first Buddha, so if you look at the first person to teach Kung Fu to the Asian community, it, it's a man by the name of Bodhidharma, who looks just like Sherman Hemsley on the Jeffersons. <laughs> He looks just like Hong in the clown. Like that nigga on Tekken? Bodhidharma, he looks just Bodhidharma? like, he looks just like, he looks just like Boracho on Tekken there, and that's who they used to call him, the drunken monk. That's what Boracho means in Spanish, the drunkard. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. So he was a black man. Bodhidharma? They gonna, they gonna, they gonna be on, they gonna check him. Fact checkers, check it out. You know, Ryan gonna come over here because he already Check him out. Will you have Ryan, Bodhidharma? Black him out. Check him out. The father of Kung like Fu. Them. They <laughs> say he came from far parts unknown from the West and in his travels to what is now known as China and, and the lower part of Eastern Asia, he observed all of the animals mm -hmm. and how they hunted and how they traverse through life. So that's how he had all those fighting styles, the monkey Brain style, mantis. the snake, the crane, the, the, the tiger, the praying mantis. Mm -hmm. All of these things are different predators. Mm -hmm. All these things are different hunters. All these things have mastered survival and dominating their environment. Right, right. So he amassed all of these different fighting skills while also being what people consider to be drunk. If you look at anybody who changed the course of history, they always related them to being either a drunkard or a dope fan. Go look throughout history, and that includes Jesus Christ, that includes Fred Hampton, mm -hmm. that includes Huey P. Newton. They said Jesus, what they say Jesus? They used to say Jesus, Jesus was a wine bibber. That's a drunkard. That's a nigga that like to drink. Discredit him. That's why they say he had eyes like fire. 
Because he was drunk all the time. Yeah, then all these motherfuckers, so he had to be. Shit. I got to save everybody. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> all right, come on, man. Wake this nigga up, man. Get up. Walk on water, man. Come that on, was man. the one part nobody, stick, that's, that's, that's the one part nobody caught on Hit in that Will Smith movie, Hancock, is that he was always drunk all the fucking time. Speed up, Paul, y'all keep fighting, man. Y'all get them niggas, man. <laughs> Nobody caught, nobody caught how many hidden ass that? gems was in that movie Hancock. Go back and watch it again with a blunt in your hand. He was a drunk ass man that saved the world. Nobody knew where the fuck he came from. And the only thing that made him weak was being around that white woman. What white woman? What white woman? Talk your talk, you done opened up that can now. You got to Hold spin on. it. what'd you say? That white Go woman? back and look at the movie Hancock. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, on. absolutely. Oh, hang on, you talking about Bible, but you Yeah, this nigga, like, hold up, man. this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, do some shit. I ain't, I ain't read this one. Oh, well, there yeah. are several tales of niggas that gave their lives up for a white woman in the Bible. For real. Samson and Delilah was another, was one of those How stories. How far book that is? I'm, I'm in Genesis. I'm reading the whole book of Genesis. Uh, I believe the story of Samson is in Genesis. That's the beginning. If it's not in Genesis, then it's, it's uh, either right. first or second kings. Gotta be That's the king. beginning, beginning, yeah. the Old Testament. Yeah, that Old Testament. I'm reading okay. the Torah right now. Yeah. That's the first yeah. five books. Yeah. Moses' law. Read, read the story of Samson and read the story of Del uh, Delilah. You uh, said what? Judges. It's in Judges. It's in Judges. How you know? Then you just Googled it. Well, you don't, don't, don't be saying it live because they hear your voice. So they know it's you. He be trying to say it. It's on Google. He on Google. <laughs> Thought that came from the head. <laughs> I know this one. I know this one. Judges. I'm like, damn, don't nobody just say judges. Like, you actually got to read to know they came from judges. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. Samson, no. Samson was... Talk your talk, black Samson man. Was, now you talking. Samson was a black man. Mm-hmm. And he gave it like... With an afro. Samson? Samson was a black... He didn't have an afro. He had locks. He had locks. Samson had locks. Okay. They say Samson was so goddamn big and tall... He was more spans than any regular man. Mm -hmm. They used to measure a nigga by hand span. So a nigga, if a nigga was five hands tall, then he was like one, two, three, four, but that's how they would measure a human being and shit. So Samson was big, broad, strong, muscular, could slay a whole hundred niggas that was armed by himself with the jawbone of a donkey. He, 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 a he that kind of nigga, he a giant, and he mm -hmm. vicious with it. Right. Some but he had a predilection for this little pretty bitch named Delilah. <laughs> he was a Nephilim? Yeah, probably. Delilah came from the land of the Philistines, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Fact check me on that, I may be wrong. Mm -hmm. You said Samson, right? But you seven different times, Delilah tried Samson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Samson, what make you weak? Pillow talking after they were fucked. They would go, go on these little walks along the promenade and get drunk on mead and honey berry and, Put that and drink. make mead and honey berry and right. make, make love under the stars along the riverbanks. And while laying his head in her lap, she would ask him, Samson, what makes you weak? And he'd be like, oh, I can't tell you that, baby. And she'd be like, well, if you love me, Right. You'll bear your soul and tell me your weakness, and you'll tell me what make you weak. And so a couple of times he lied, and he was like, oh, well, shit, if, if I'm sleep and I'm dead sleep, and you tie me up <laughs> with seven brand new vines, they got to be fresh as fuck from the east side of the Chattahoochee River. If you tie me up real good, I'll be so weak, I can't do shit. Right. So she put the pussy on him, get him drunk, pass him out, wait till he good and drunk out of there, sleep, tie him up with fresh branches and shit. And then sick a whole bunch of niggas on him and say, Samson, Samson, the Philistines coming. And he stand up, bust up out them hoes, kill all 30, 40 of them niggas and shit. And be like, damn, bitch, why would you even play me like that? But I still love you. Mm. And he was still still away at night and keep coming and seeing this bitch and for seven different times until she finally got tired of it and said, I ain't going to give you no more pussy. Mm -hmm. If you don't tell me what make you weak. And he said, well, fuck it, baby. If you really want to know the truth, you cut my hair off and I'm out of there. But the nigga, he didn't see that she was trying to kill him. That pussy had you so blind. Name a nigga that was that that saw when a bitch was meant him no good. You name a nigga to this day. That was deep. The coldest nigga, the strongest nigga, the baddest nigga, all them niggas is in the penitentiary right now behind pussy. Damn. That's in jail. I gotta read that tonight. Yeah, name one need, name a trap nigga that as soon as he meet the bitch of his dreams, he take a right to the trap, show it a safe, show it where he keep the dope, where he hide the pistols, all that shit. He trusts this bitch with his whole fucking life. Don't even know if she the police or not. Cut his whole dreads off, nigga lost his life. Nigga, nigga lost his life. Every nigga lay in his lay in the bitch lap and give up his deepest, darkest secret. Nah, nah, nah. He's Samson. Why would you do that? 
Bitch, you never know me for real. Because no man is an island unto himself alone. I don't know me. Man what is meant to be with a woman. Yeah, but bitch. It's your rib. That's your most vulnerable part. If we fighting, Clayton, and I punch you right here, where your other rib is supposed to be, fight is over. So what happened when you Woman was made from your most vulnerable though? part, dog. That's why women will always, always be our most vulnerable part. But what why would you she tell her? Though? So she cut all his dreads off. Yeah. Then brought an army of 100 niggas in. And he can do and it. And woke him up. And he was the weakest nigga when he woke up out of sleep. Two niggas subdued him. Damn. So then they locked him up. They blinded him, pulled his eyes out of his head, hmm. whooped him, beat him, and kept him in prison for seven years. But in that seven years, guess what? His hair started growing back. They fucked around and let his hair grow back all the way real strong. So he asked one nigga that was working in the prison one day, hey man, one day I just want you to open the prison and sneak me out that motherfucker. And I just want you to pull me to where the pillars stand that hold up the building. And he waited good to the whole warden and everybody, all the army and everything, that people that had him in prison was holding a big feast and a big old festival. And everybody was in from all around town and all that shit. And Cuz snuck him in blind, weak, battered, but just strong enough to prop himself up in between the two pillars that held up the whole fucking building. And he got all his strength and pushed the whole motherfucking building down and killed everybody in that bitch, including himself. Mm. His last noble act. Because he told God, God, if you give me a little bit of my strength back, I'll make good on it. Even if it mean killing me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes niggas give up everything and then be like, well, God damn, God, if you let me get on one more time, I'll look out for the community. I'll do something good for some people. I'll take care of my kids. But it shouldn't take you being blinded and stripped of all your power. Right, right, right. It shouldn't take you being in prison. Mm -hmm. You should learn from another nigga mistakes sometimes. Mm -hmm. right? But that right. pussy keep you blind. Well, that's because you eating it for 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't blind, my boy. That fucking blind. Hey, but they say keep your enemies closer, goddamn. I'll be trying to see. I'll be going there trying to see. Look at these bouncers. Look, all right, you want to What is this in this <laughs> bitch? <laughs> $20, man. <laughs> Nah, I that's real. Enough, that's real. That's real. Nah, that was that's the best real. though. I definitely gotta go home and read judges. <laughs> Which one? That's judges? Real. Any two judges? No, nah, judges come right for Ruth. Judge Matthews. I know. It's right after and Joshua. Two judges. It's right in between Joshua and Ruth. And two judges. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Do, do them all. Joshua, hit them all. Judges, Ruth. Okay. Hit them all. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, mm -hmm. Numbers, Deuteronomy. Joshua, Judges, Ruth. Mm -hmm. Then it's first and second Samuel, mm -hmm. first and second Kings, first and second Chronicles. Then it's Ezra, mm -hmm. Nehemiah, Joseph. No, nope. I can't tell you. Ezra, Nehemiah, you Jeremiah, Lamentations. Sound right? Keep going. Psalms, Proverbs, Song of Solomon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keep Come going. On. And then you get into your Nahum, Habakkuk. So there you go. Then you get into your. Nehemiah, then Malachi. Mm hmm. You ain't got to. Nehemiah, long. Hezekiah, Malachi. Right across the end. You can get to what you call it. I yet. missed a couple of them. Yeah. Isaiah, that's the one that's right before Jeremiah. Well, I know you ain't saying Isaiah, say, oh, Jeremiah. I know you ain't saying Corinthians. You ain't say Corinthians is in the New Testament. First or second? <laughs> Corinthians is in the New Testament. What the other one is? Oh, oh, he said that's, that's, that's in the New Testament. Hebrews is in the New Testament. I know, but I was waiting for you to get Hebrew. Mm. Oh, Song of Solomon. I uh, said that. It's a lot of it. Like I said that. Don't I said Song of Solomon, nigga. You did good, Bob. You did good. No, so, you did good. I ain't gonna let him jump you on you like that. You, no. did, you did great. You, did That's what you already know. I thought you. Yeah. You I didn't do. expect nothing less. That's why I said. Can't even go to eight. <clears throat> Duh. They be like, Genesis, I got, right? I got them first order up, uh, nigga. All right, you like what? You know, Genesis. Genesis, Nintendo. That's right. PlayStation. I had a sucker. You know what I'm saying? I had a sucker. Dreamcast. Ain't nobody said shit about Revelation. That's the last one. Go. It's the last one. Nah, but Actually, it's not. It's just the last one that the Canonical Society approved. Fact. Do you like Ain't nobody bring up the book of Enoch. Come on. Definitely. Right. That's in the Old right. Testament. Yeah. As is the book of wisdom, as is the book of uh, the Nephilim. Uh, they're, they're like 13 books from the Old Testament that are missing. And the, the, the part of the Bible in between Malachi oh, and they Matthew this and they know exactly what is what's are. known as the Dark Ages. Mm, talk to You said which one now? The part of the Bible where it says, Amen, when Malachi ends. And then in Matthew, and it came to pass. 
That part in between that page flip right. in history is what's known as the Dark Ages. You gotta have a tough skin to read that Bible. Though. So what happened in the Dark Ages is niggas was running shit. It was dark. Niggas, niggas was running. Fuck the mess. Niggas, niggas had been running shit. Tell them uncut. Niggas had been the running dark shit. Dark Ages. Niggas, niggas had, came back. Niggas took had over. Been niggas had went shit. across the world and came back. It was like <laughs> niggas had this been, been running shit. But there were two major wars. wars. There were two major wars that took place. One of them in the 700s. One of them in the late 1400s. The one that took place in the late 1400s. It's the one that took place in what's now known as Spain. And that's when we, dark-skinned black men, mm -hmm. were known as the Moors. And we ran all that shit. Talk to them. And we had all those castles and we gave them all that culture. Mm -hmm. So then the Castiles, which is one part of the family, along with the, what are now known as European Spaniards, all bound together and had a war against the Moors. And it started in the late 1480s, and it ended in 1491. In 1492, they took some of their spoils of war and gave it to a drunk ass nigga by the name of Chris, who said he was finna go find the new world and ended up lost in South America. Where he started raping and killing and murdering and taking little children and shit. And coughing on people and shit. Mm -hmm. And they call him Columbus. Mm. But that's another story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. During that war, mm -hmm. they took over what is now known as the Bible. And they started stripping shit out that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Cause they wanted that, they needed that. Because that was the only way to control the world. So everything that they couldn't take with them mm -hmm. and alter, they destroyed. Mm -hmm. Go look at the Sphinx, it's destroyed. Go look at a lot of the walls that are inside, a lot of the pyramids and caves and caverns, they all destroyed. All the ancient texts, they only got a half of it and that piece is burnt because that's all that they could carry with them because everything else was destroyed. But when they got back and started decoding that shit, they realized that half of what they destroyed was the other half of the story. It's the story of God. You go back and look at the story of God, it has been reiterated, translated, and transmorphed and transfigured mm -hmm. into every dominant society. So you trace the Bible back through time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if we got here first, like they say we did, mm -hmm. that means we knew God first. So that means if we want to understand God, why not go to the place that is older than your Bible? Let's start with the pyramid. Mm -hmm. Your Bible ain't but a few thousand years old. Your pyramid is at least 7,000. That's if you carbon date the dirt on the outside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So why not go there? Mm -hmm. That's the path I'm on. That's another story. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the shit that they couldn't find, that they had destroyed, they didn't know what to do. And that's called the Dark Ages. Mm -hmm. Now during the Dark Ages, the civilization that we had established in Europe started to deteriorate. Mm. They started to get sick because they didn't have any alchemy. They didn't oh, understand no. the sciences. <clears throat> they didn't understand chemistry. They didn't understand how to heal disease. Mm -hmm. And a little bitty flea beat a rat. And the rat bit a dog. And the dog shit it in the house because they kept animals in their house. Black play. And that house led, and that, that shit attracted flies. And those flies bit people. And they developed a plague, a bubonic plague. It was called the Black Death. And it killed everybody, so much so that they developed a nursery rhyme called Ring Around the Rosie about it. It was the first pandemic. Mm -hmm. Ring Around the Rosie. Break it down. Ring Around the Rosie. Pocket full of poses. So you start to develop red circles around your eyes, and that's the first symptom that you have the bubonic plague. Well, as and a white you person, you start getting bruising all around your fucking eyes and shit. That's the first symptom. Then your body starts you to develop stink. necrosis. In other words, you stink. So they start keeping potpourri in their pockets and shit, a pocket Hoses, full flowers. of posies. Then your skin start getting all flaky and ashy. You develop leprosy, ashes, ashes, and then one day, they all fall down. Dead. No, the ashes is because they burn your body. They well, no, 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 no. Your skin is ashen, ashen first. So then, then they so many people, down. they all fell down. So many people died at the same time. They had to just start digging mass graves and burying people by the hundreds mm -hmm. in big ass fucking and holes. And this was during the dark ages. Go look at the, you said in, in the, the, Europe, the damn near fall of European society. Yeah. Mm. So guess what saved the European bloodline? A little dose of black blood. Same thing to save the Asian bloodline. Break it down. The Asian bloodline had, had so much <clears throat> mutated DNA in it that they all look the same. They all look the same, right? Shut the fuck My up. Bad. Oh. So back in the day, I'm learning, I'm learning. My, my, so what? back in the day, Asians used to be called Mongols. 
Before mm -hmm. they were called Chinese, Japanese, Taiwan, they were called Mongols. Right. The people that dominated Eastern Europe and, and, and what's now known as Southeast Asia were the Huns. They were Mongolian, which is why when you go to an Asian restaurant, it's called a Mongolian restaurant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the Mongols, back then, there was a lot of inbreeding. There was a lot of people from the same family having a whole lot of kids together and shit. And a whole lot of that shit caused a lot of mutations within their own culture, right. within their own DNA. Right. It only got healed with a little <laughs> bit of black blood, the grand um, purifier because we have that alpha gene, but we'll talk about that later. But when you take some of somebody else's DNA in order to cleanse it with your own, you take it and you pass along. So in our path along the world, everybody we touch, we took a little bit of that tainted DNA with us. It's now known as Down syndrome, or clinically and medically, mongoloidism. Mm -hmm. And if you look at any baby, no matter what race they are, they all got Down syndrome, they all look the same, they all look like little bitty Asian people. Thin hair, short black hair. Those, no. Thin eyes. Mm -mm. Mouths that splay out. These are all the features. There are only four physical archetypes. These views are Caucasoid, reflective of black Rhine, black Rhine, Mongoloid. Mm. There's only four races on this planet. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a derivative of one of them, or a mixture of all of them. <laughs> on a genetic level. Mm -hmm. So, People with Down syndrome have mongoloidism, clinically. Mm -hmm. And I ain't speaking no ill on nobody that's saying that like that. I'm just talking about the history of who this we are as black now. folks and how our blackness has touched every little bitty piece of culture throughout this whole fucking world. And if you just go back and just follow the footsteps and just pick up the breadcrumbs of everything that black people that have done that is so dope, it will make a grand picture of the whole fucking world. That's why you can love all people, because there's a little bit of black in every goddamn body. Right, right, right. And if I can't love nothing about you, I can love that little black part. Right. But what about the folk that ain't got nothing? Like, you know, the one that turned. They got it. Most of the people that think they're white now have black people in their ancestry because they were passing. A lot of white people that were alive in the South were alive because they were nursing every day from a wet nurse. That was a black woman. That means you nanny, have sustenance. And nanny. and nanny was breastfeeding you from mm -hmm. her titties. Mm -hmm. That means you have black DNA in your body, my boy. Mm -hmm. Did somebody just fall? <laughs> they did. Somebody pulled it on no. They tried to be silent. I tried to talk to them, but that wrong home run got home run got Steve. Somebody leaned over for something and they got there. break the tension in the room, I did. Nah. That good knowledge, though. What is good weed, boy? Because I said I wasn't going to be deep. I said I was going to come on here and bullshit and shoot the Jamie Faye, but... But you know it had to come out. It had, had to come out. So did you touch your African thing? They were like, <laughs> speak for us. <laughs> what I need for everybody to know is a little black in everybody. <laughs> Hey, but on, on some real you shit, got though. He got a medallion, though. He got a medallion. He tested it. It went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I done told you? In our, in our private you know, talks, our know, private conversations. Talk. But to see it on the show is a beautiful thing. It started about a year and a half ago. Y'all can go track me, fact checkers. You start talking about gentrification and neighborhood appreciation and shit about how black people can live in the projects, but white people will live in a, a housing development or something like that. Right, you know and what it just look good. And, and it's, it's the clean. same, it's, it's, the, same the, it's the same thing, but, it's but, but, but it's the perspective in which, you know what I'm saying, somebody else don't own it, but it's, it's mine. Right. And black people don't have the, but it's mine attachment to it. So shit gets degraded and it gets torn down and ran down and looked down upon. And that's when I was like, oh shit, this nigga been reading. Mel's and then you came on the show one time with a stack of books, boy. Yeah. I was talking about like you were fresh from half price or fresh from the library. Like reading them thing too. <laughs> and I was like, oh. Reading them thing shit. too. Yeah. Cause you know, Lowe's been over here just secretly saying shit. Since I ain't been over here just quiet. He read. He read. He'll, he'll get a piece of paper on the piece and sit back and say some shit like, you ever wonder? No, he read. Why carburetors only got the fuse box on the left side? <laughs> 
No, man, we, no, always, but he we always exchanging some knowledge on this month. That's what we do. Cause we gotta know who we walking them on. Nah, that shit dope, bro. It's dope. It's dope. Let niggas know that this podcast is, is for niggas that that's getting better day by day. My boy. Every day. Yeah, man. This podcast is for niggas who are already good. Great. Yeah, yeah. That. I feel like I'm gonna be an emotional old nigga. You are. Like, when I get old, I'm gonna be like emotional nigga. Like, me? Like, I didn't really wanna do that. Yeah, you didn't start gonna... crying in movies yet? You gonna start having fun. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I think that's probably the biggest challenge for me to be scared, bro. Because I'm so. Ugh. Now I can do everything else. But, like, be nervous? I yeah. think that's probably like a biggest challenge for me to be, bro. That goofy. You ever seen me nerve? Huh. Like, man, that shit funny here. Huh. Like, <laughs> what makes you vulnerable? You sound like that white woman. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> this is what I'm crazy. You didn't learn nothing. I heard. I learned from the story. I won't tell you. <laughs> now everything ain't to be said. I told you. Nah. The older I get, bro, the more of a father I am. The more I cry at tender moments and shit, bro, I be like, what the fuck is wrong with me? I'll be watching some- You ain't getting soccer, you got children. You got children? I got a daughter, yeah, she 10. Oh. Shout out to my daughter, Lonnie. Hell yeah, well, been doing hell yeah. Well, Cause been you ain't supposed to watch this, but I know you gonna watch it. Shout out to my daughter, Lonnie, man. Hell yeah, that's my baby, but- Well, do. Um, don't let me watch anything that involves a black father like trying to get his thing together for his cry. kids or- a cry, nigga baby, don't get to see his man. Shit, that shit, like that shit gonna take me. That shit gonna have me in that. They be walking up on fathers when you see him in public. Anytime you know, I see a black man doing his thing with his kids, I just walk up to him and be like, I you see you, black you man. You gotta stop, man. Amen. I see you, black man. Amen. Make a nigga nervous. No, it don't. Niggas always be like, hell yeah. yeah. Niggas that walk up to you and be like, hey, bro, huh? You doing great, black man. You be like, what the fuck wrong with you, man? I'm with my child, man. What the fuck wrong with him, man? And you doing great. My nerves are already bad. My nerves are already bad. You think I you need to know good. Hey, I see you, baby. Come with me. I see you, baby. You doing good. Uh, that was yeah. one of the things let me know, bro. I, that's like that's one of the best things I've ever done. What? Was make that child right there, bro. That's like something in life yeah, that what? I really got right. What make the child? Making that baby right there. That, that that little girl right there in particular, bro. Like that is one thing that I did right. I know that. I know for a fact, like anything else I might fuck up along the way, I might go down in history as the greatest nigga to ever fuck it all up. But when it comes to one thing I did right, you handled your business. That little girl right there. That's right, my boy. We proud of you for being a great father, my boy. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? We need more of that. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking your talk, yeah. my boy. You got to, man. What you got coming up? Man, I got, first of all, Shout out to my man Kev on stage. Man, you look hard. Kev, go to stage. Kevin up on the stage. Come on, uh, man. Hit me up and say, Black Run. I want you to come out to LA, man, and tape the Keep Your Distance Christmas special. Come on. Yep. You want to be on the special? Not only Silver that, man. Silver bells. He got, me clo- he got me closing that thing out. Yep. His special? His, his, his Christmas special oh, amongst a who's who of comedians, bro. I'm talking about you got cast like K-Dub, you got cast like Ronnie Jordan, Tyler Chronicles, Kelly Kells, Ty Davis, oh, Kamal the Secret Genius. I'm talking about Liz, to hear more, let's go on and on and on, bro. Like you got so many heavy fucking hitters. Like you love to see it. You love to see it, bro. Especially from a dude that was like, you know what? Fuck waiting on an opportunity to come that may never come or may come too late. I'll make a way for mm-hmm. me. And then yeah, he, he turned that. around yeah. and was like, and then I'll make a way for those that fuck with me. God saluted. And that man gives with his whole heart, bro. Like from an honest and genuine place, and he just want black folks to win. You better yeah. not start crying. No, I, ain't, I ain't gonna cry. He started thinking about yeah. being a part. And matter of fact, he's a great dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said when niggas don't get to see their kids and shit, when they get to work their way back to the kids, he, he sees his that kids. That was your day. chance to show your range. That was, that was <laughs> it, right? <laughs> Father! Father! <laughs> said, Why I you just, always on the roof? <laughs> and I just know, oh. I just don't know where, somehow. Oh, man. Why you always on the roof? 
I don't want it no more, man. That was, that was a touching moment. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good oh, one. That's beyond textbook. That was good. Ain't no movie never made you cry for? Um, man. Nah, 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 nah. Not Forrest Gump. Nah. This nigga with these deep ass personal questions. Yeah, nah. <laughs> ain't no movie never made you cry. Ain't no, yeah. Look, ain't no movie never made you cry. What makes you tender? What makes you tender-hearted? Ain't no movie never made you cry. Delilah. He's Delilah, ain't it? <laughs> I'm gonna try seven times. I'm gonna fucking There's do it. No and nigga say, of course, I'm gonna do it. Clay Coke. You never watched the color purple all the way through? Ain't no oh, movie, movie that made me cry. If I take mushrooms, you wanna any know. movie I'm made me cry. I cry. The happiest shit, boy. Any movie? I'm scared mushrooms. What? Okay, in certain scenes. Finding Nemo? Finding Nemo? Finding Dory? Okay. That's it, oh, shit. No, when you first lose Nemo. When you first lose Nemo. When you got a brain problem. And she can't find she her way. Can't remember. <laughs> she can't, I can't remember. 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 Done. Finding Dory. Once you realize yeah. it's about man, hey man, just because somebody ain't, you all know, cool. they, they, they ain't all the way there. That don't I imagine mean, the don't only person you could depend on wasn't all the way there. I've been there before. When I cried, about somebody that ain't all the way there. Radio. Did I cry when they shut Radio up? Radio tell that ass up. If you, if you, oh, man. Real nigga shit. What? Real nigga shit. Real nigga shit. I cried that bitch in the gear. That's the name of the movie, real nigga shit. Set that bitch no, up. No, no. She was the sitting in that bitch. No, you said when they, when they shot Queen of the Team and set it off. Oh, hell yeah. Go on, man, sing you. She was hitting switches while she was getting shot up. She killed that role, bro. Like on some gangster shit. Like, yeah, she did. I'm finna go out. Yeah, she did. Fuck that. I cried. You know you about to go like, fuck that. Yeah, I, can, I got, I got. Mufasa was the first murder I, I ever witnessed, bro. I had to Who? turn my head Mufasa back. Mufasa was the first murder I ever witnessed, bro. Now I want to say John, John Q probably got the tear out. Oh, yeah. When that nigga, when that nigga, I was the seven of them. I thought y'all was some real niggas. My son, my son will bury me. I thought y'all was some real niggas. His voice started breaking. Ain't nobody said Antoine Fisher yet. Y'all get y'all soft ass on, man. Yeah. Nigga. You know why everybody said it? You know what Ebony in here said, Woo? Because black men in. don't talk about the time we got molested by that older woman. Ooh, what the hell wrong with you, man? What's wrong with your past, man? Every nigga in here thought you he was doing something special butt. when that older girl touched you on your wee-wee. You, you need you, therapy, you, my butt. You was molested, my butt. You need therapy, my butt. You was molested, my butt. My butt need yeah. to talk to somebody, my butt. Please. This ain't the couch, my butt. Nigga shaking their head like, no, nah, I was just a player. No, you weren't. Hey, that's why I put his butt cheeks in the couch and said, ooh, I need to tell y'all. <laughs> I must yeah. tell y'all every yeah. day. You were 13, she was 19, you was a victim, my boy. I must say, I must tell y'all every yeah. day. <laughs> when yeah. I was 13. Yeah, you was seven. She so was a little. You, you was a victim, my boy. <laughs> that boy, that hurt. That was my play cousin. That was my mama friend. That was your oh, sister. coming out now. She's still alive. She watching this shit like, cut it off. <laughs> cut that shit off. Cut this shit off. I know him. See, don't you know him? No, I thought I did. Cut that off. No, bro. It's niggas that were 18 fuck a 30-year-old woman thought they were doing something cool. No, bro. That's not, that's not you, that at that age. You a victim, my boy. 18? 18? You know Surviving Gladys. You better come out with your own. With your own goddamn lifetime expression. I'm gonna be over there just like this. Hold okay. on. Yeah. I chose not to show my face. Oh, yeah. my face down. It was good. I don't know what they oh, talking next about. Next episode. Of surviving her experience. Here go. I chose not to show Everybody my face on camera. Is I too was with Miss Ernestine, but that's, that's all I can say. Yeah. She didn't do nothing wrong. She didn't do nothing. Get those fucking yeah. cameras out of Get those yeah. goddamn cameras out of here. On the next, <laughs> surviving Ernestine. We caught up with one of Ernestine's earliest victims. Nigga gonna be sitting over there eating some of my peach cobbler. Man, that lady ain't did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, sir, why do you only eat peach cobbler with no instruments? So you had Miss Ernestine peach cobbler? Oh, then you shit. wouldn't know nothing about that. Well, how did she serve it to you, sir? How did she serve Serve it to you, sir. Yeah. Gumless. Gumless. I call her gummy. <laughs> that shit crazy. I can't even imagine that shit. 
Hopefully what? I experience that when I'm an old man. Oh, what, well, getting one of them Velveteen rubs? Yeah. That's what they call it. When you get head with a woman who ain't got no teeth in her mouth. Oh, you ain't never had that? Nah. A little numb numb. Boy, you ain't had that? Shit, yeah. With no teeth? I feel like a fish. Huh? Tell them, ask them. Tell them, ask them. Tell us how you got some color with a fish feeling. You ain't never had no teeth? No. I mean, you ain't never had no teeth. That way, switch game, switch game. Hey, man. I be buying whole fish and I'm buying whole fish. Nah, I need them lots. I bet I better repugnant. I'm whole fish. I'm gonna say that. Oh, shit. Nah, it's crazy, bro. But his yeah, movies dude. like Forrest Gump, that'll get me. You still crying? Goddamn, yeah. man. Huh. Bring my. Yeah, like, put another one in. That was good. Yeah. Bring, bring my. Bring my. When that nigga say, see, I see him. Don't turn the light out, boss. And that, when that nigga putting the hood over here, don't turn the light out, boss. All right, you starting to lose me. Now your movie's getting a little, this nigga said, Gremlins 2. Yeah. Gremlins 2? I didn't say Gremlins 2. He said, Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, nigga, movies like, like that. <laughs> movies, movies like, for sure, the happiness. <laughs> That's Players a Club, when Dollar Bill went to jail. Nigga, Pursuit of Happiness didn't make you cry. You talking about when he was in the bathroom? Exactly, nigga. That no, part. I was in the movie watching other niggas cry. Like, look at this nigga crying over there, man. Hey, bro, if, if you don't cry, go, you, have you watched it since you became a father? Yes. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Go back and watch it since you became a father. I have. Father. He put his leg on the dope and he didn't want the nigga to come in. Yeah. I didn't say you don't remember it, though. That nigga was like, boy, you don't get your ass up. Somebody shit on their self that night. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> that boy had me weak. I'm gonna shit on myself. That nigga son, I'm like, Daddy, you gonna let him come in here? That boy had me weak, and the part when that nigga got the job, he was walking no, down the street, he, he couldn't that contain didn't get himself, tears, he was so fucking happy, it got tears. and he was clapping stupid and shit, holding his mouth, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid, mama. It got tears. <laughs> nigga, hey, hey. Gave that nigga laugh Hey, shout out to Morning Culture. <laughs> it's not just a brand, it's a show. Um, I was on the Morning Culture show, man, chilling with them boys, and that nigga running Jordan said that part. He said, uh, uh, <laughs> he said, man, that nigga said, give me seven for the cab. And he gave that nigga that 10, and he, he was out of there for three days. Right? Cause, cause eat lunch. He, it's it. It's a wrap, nigga. Peanut butter jelly time for the next four, five days, nigga. You peanut butter butter. The part that made me cry the hardest is when, is when that nigga wife was leaving. And all he could say was, well, go be happy then, mother. Go be happy, nigga. Like, like, nigga. She's doing that, my boy. She is doing that. Like, she is being happy. You can, you can believe that. <laughs> nigga. Nigga, you know that nigga said Jada four times on accident on set. Just to cry. Bro, we happy, Jada. Cut, cut. You well, no. Well, you did it again. No, dude, I said Jada give out. You did. Uh, her you name did. is Paula. Damn it. Reset. You stupid, bro. Uh, <laughs> you stupid, bro. That shit, dude. That nigga. Oh, shit. Boy, cry. Boy, me cry. That boy, Tinder. But be crying <laughs> off anything. I don't be crying off anything. He go bro. back to watch the movie just to see if it make him cry. He be like, I want to see if this one gonna get me. Man, no, nah, it's just like it's like little shit, bro. I just watch Transformers. <laughs> when he when he transfers your life off to my brain. He be sitting at the house half fucked. You stupid, man. Hey, hey, man, why y'all think ET won't call home, bro? <laughs> why you no. think ET <laughs> won't call his folk, bro? Real nigga shit, as a comic book nerd, as a comic book nerd, when that nigga oh. Thanos snapped the whole fucking world away, I was like, oh, cuz, not like this. What about this. Star Wars, when my boy was doing that, and <laughs> you ain't, ain't crying no, I ain't fuck with that. <laughs> I ain't fuck with that, cause, that nigga. cause they weapons was dangerous, but they didn't sound dangerous. I hated that nigga. The lightsaber sound goofy as hell. <laughs> you hit a nigga one time, cut all that off. <laughs> 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 Wait, shit go 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 go. Go. That radiation that got them mental skin. You hit a nigga one time, all that shit cut out. <laughs> <laughs> but you gonna cut yourself shit. too, fucking rap. Right. Trying, to, yeah, trying to get nice with it. Like, how you practice with that? How you get I nice? Told you, I told you not to. <laughs> trying to put that bitch on like it's a cousin. <laughs> Was in a deeper tone, he should be like, That's why that other nigga ain't want one. He like, I'm straight. He like, You want one? 
That nigga got on my nerve, bro. You know how bad you got to be beefing with a motherfucker to fly to another galaxy to fight him? On, 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 on a boat, on a boat they go <laughs> when they go past, nigga. But then, but then it's not even you know, all them nigga had like alien head. It wasn't nobody regular on that bitch, was it? It was some regular people. No, the only regular get, person was the lady. But that nigga was blowing up planets, nigga. Nah, that was total recall. I couldn't get with that nigga. If you shit. travel over six galaxies, what the fuck you think a nigga gonna look like, nigga? You going to a galaxy and far, far away. oxygen on this planet. They need them fucking gills on their neck. They don't even know how far that was. That hoe was just far, far. How far? Far, far. They ain't what never know where they were going. Two more galaxies, the same as Earth, but everybody eat dog food, nigga. <laughs> Are you talking about like some alternate reality shit? That what that was. Like where everybody walk on their hands? Yeah. I couldn't do it. Mm-mm. Niggas ain't got no knees and shit. That's everybody right. fuck back to back. And niggas ain't. That sound like a freak party. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you, you go in the room, it's a motherfucker back to back, just <laughs> going at each other. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, man, I go. <laughs> 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 what if you, I, I, I mean, he really working it. You got me fucked up. Oh, no, man, man y'all want some other shit. Give me them back shots. <laughs> Everybody in this bitch way too high. Definitely. No, bro, they got different places, bro. Like, y'all remember the movie Avatar? Hell no. Nah. Where motherfuckers were fucked by you hooking their hair up. You need a job. Stop watching movies. <laughs> what about, you know, they what about this fuck, movie? Bro. You know, that, that's uh, at least two hours. Go back and watch Judge Dredd or was it Demolition <laughs> Man when motherfuckers put on VR goggles and fuck. The same shit they sell now with video games in them. How you go from hey, talking man. about Sylvester Long and the white lady put them hoes on to have sex, He baby. too high. He done talked about Delilah and went from yeah. soon as he started hitting that back wood, he got too high. Yeah. Man, he done I'm trying, to real, hey, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Black run. You a freaky man. They, 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 they take, <laughs> they take <laughs> all, everybody walking They take all our stories oh, and they hide them in comic books, <laughs> eating dogs, and, and, and sci-fi <laughs> movies. You overthinking a lot of this shit, man, I'm telling you. No, Iron Man is, is the story of Ogun. <laughs> I got a collar on. Leash. For all right. Nigga think everything is conspiracy. <laughs> Chef Boyardee was a black man. <laughs> Named Boyardee Bradford. He was Boy, like something. No, his name Boy. was Artie. His name was Artie. Boy. White people call all black men Boy. His name was Boy Artie. They called him Chef Boy Artie. <laughs> what if everybody was on all four and eating dog food? Wait, at least it's for the music. And white people were still serving bland dog food and white and black Boy, people were seasoning there. Stupid, bro. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even <laughs> 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 Stupid shit. We ain't talking. You got me just for the beat. <laughs> you stupid. Hey, man. We in this bitch way too high. <laughs> I tried to stop him before you got this high. I told you. <laughs> you shouldn't have stopped him. <laughs> So you asked me what book. else I got coming up. All that uh, shit. See how it just popped back in? Yeah, because yeah, we was talking. We, I got went off on a tangent, and then we started talking about movies and shit. <laughs> I got a line of dog food coming out. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Alternate Dimension. <laughs> it's it made for dogs, but, but it tastes good enough for you. Three years, you have freaky. You freaky, man. man you yeah. gonna find a lot of DVDs? Yeah. DVDs? He's like, what's up, these DVDs, Black Rock? Three million dollars, bro. So, also, <laughs> coming up. He said all fools ain't dog food. I'm uh, getting funny here. Uh, I'm finna start dropping my website, bro. I'm finna start dropping major <laughs> shit on my website, unapologeticallyblack.com, B-L-A-Q. Um, I'm also, uh, Doing the show called Black Runs Black Power Hour. It, it's, it's a. It's a, it's a <laughs> <laughs> we talk. We talk about everything from dog food to <laughs> different ways. Power, you know what they go. You know what going that. <laughs> no, I talk about all kind of shit. I talk about all kind of shit. I talk about uh, eating, eating habits, health and shit. We talk about sports, we talk about politics, we talk about romance, we talk about gossip, we talk about everything. What's wrong with this man? Black runs, black power. Oh, this boy is retarded. You stupid. I ain't mean to say retarded. I apologize. (laughs) (laughs) Amen. Oh. 
put your album on. <laughs> but anyway, that's Black Rose Black Power Hour. Available on Instagram Live and YouTube. Uh, follow me on both of those channels for more details. As you can see, it's a screen. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the show had you hot. Oh, man. Hey, man, oh, oh, boy. somebody check on this nigga. <laughs> 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 hey, said Black Power. Black Power. Power. Yeah, you know what's going on, bitch. Yeah, yeah. You need to check on all your kids, folks. They in Black Power. <laughs> <laughs> Come see why he laughing so hard. That's Black oh, Rose, Black Power Hour. Oh. <laughs> Made him on a digital format near you. Your friend say she going to see Black Power Hour. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Call DC, him. What the f it's like a TED Talk, but for we here. Check up on your friend. Where you going, girl? She going to Black Power Hour. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. That's B L A Q. B L A. If you hunt your whole your whole, whole shoulders when you say it, you remember it. B L A Q R O N. Bro, boy, you funny. Bro. Hey, it's fuck, man. Fuck, my boy. My boy is crazy. You ain't gonna be a guest on the Black Power? Hell no, I need Black Power. I don't want no points of Black Power. You ain't gonna come bring some power to the house. Hell no. Uh, I don't even know how that invitation came to my house. <laughs> Retake. Resend to sender. Resend yeah, to sender. You know how you put the mailbox thing back up like that? Clay Coda actually did it. Send that motherfucker back. Clay Coda actually did an episode or two of, of the Power Hour. Oh my goodness. Ooh, what? Don't pull me in. I don't want to no open up the Black Power Hour. Yeah. I'm scared. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to the weed man. He really doing his Ooh. thing. Man. We get ready to black run. My boy Cowboy. You fucking. Don't let boy. this be the last time you come to the track. It can't be. Come Ooh. back. It can't be, man. You I just, 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 just come back. back. You know what I'm saying? You gonna love it. Yeah. Hey man. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Show 85. Yeah. Black right. like run. Let's go. My dog now. My nigga. nigga, I need some air. Nigga. Oh, I can't do that. I can't eat that, bro. Different people eating dog food. <laughs> but, man, the food never came from. You hear that? You hear that? Black power. Black dude. I ain't even catch. Hell yeah. Hell no. Black power.